Hey, you guys! Welcome to the London Eurovision Party 2024 live stream. Can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? We are just getting started. It's incredibly crowded in here. And let's see. Oh, actually, yes, we are now live. I see it on YouTube. Apologies for the setup. And here we go. Russell, an organizer, is here. Hello, Russell. We have Michael Rice, American Idol star. Come sit down, Humpty. This is a moment. Bye, Michael William. Rice. Oh, my God. It's so good to see so you. So nice to see you again. First of all, why aren't you in Los Angeles? What's going Honestly, on? Honestly, your vision is more important. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's going really well. I can't believe the response it's had. Um, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the judges on American Idol gave you that praise, what yeah. was it like? Honestly, like, I've always been a big fan of Kate Perry and Lionel Richie and even just seeing Lionel Richie's face like tearing up and stuff and just oh it's amazing and what Sweet. song did you sing I sang Kelly Clarkson because of you oh, and, uh, please please such a big me no <laughs> because of you um, but um, yeah honestly it's the most amazing experience ever it's been amazing oh it's just fantastic yeah. and the process being in California away from home has that yeah, been hard it definitely has been obviously I'm a mommy's boy like I love my family and stuff but you meet so many amazing people there and everyone's so lovely the contestants and the production so yeah it's lovely but I must say, Americans love a British accent. Oh, they do. The, everyone mocks my accent. Everyone's always in the corridors. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, honestly, it's just incredible. Oh, so gosh. nice to see you again. Oh, likewise. You've grown you. up so much. I have, I have. It's been a long five years. Oh, yeah. You know, it's interesting, because I think sometimes after Eurovision, stars disappear. Yeah. But you have always been with the community. Like, yeah. The fans are still with you. 100%. What's that like? Honestly, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, there's no better feeling than um, meeting all the Eurovision fans again and seeing familiar faces and even even just now I was just doing like a little meet and greet out there and someone had a photo of me in Tel Aviv in the Euro <laughs> Club uh, but it's so nice to see everyone again it's just an amazing community and it's just one of the best shows I've ever been on yeah and so. I've got to ask you do you have yeah. a message for all these people on the live stream right now yes I just want to say thank you for supporting me it's been absolutely amazing from the beginning um, I couldn't have done it without anyone um, and yeah let's have a good Eurovision it's going to be amazing what do you think of Dizzy Ali Alexander oh I love Dizzy uh, I think he's such a cool representative for the UK he's got like all the different things that you need to be a good Eurovision representative. Um, I've just been speaking to Lee and everyone's just so proud of him, so hopefully I get to meet him. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about your new music, because all of us need to download, stream, celebrate Michael Rapp. Yes, you have to. Um, I've been working on my music since lockdown. Um, a lot of things happened during that time, like for my mental health and stuff like that. Oh. And I really took a step back from it. Um, I just thought, you know what, why not take a risk and try America? Why, why not try America? Um, and then everything's just kind of fell into place now, and the music's ready. We've got the music video in production right now. This is my beautiful team. Oh, hello, <laughs> um, beautiful so team. So it's all starting to happen for me now. And Can I just say, I love when most people need a mental health break yeah you know they go into hiding but you go to america <laughs> you know, I'm a crack I'm not America. <laughs> but yeah honestly yeah it's just amazing oh, it's, it's so just, nice, to, oh, see it's nice to see you you're good vibe. i always watch your videos and stuff uh, so i still watch them you are the best you <laughs> know, know what i watch them you know my favorite food well. no, rice honey all right, all right. <laughs> My mother is me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, honestly. But what do people in Hartlepool think about Michael Rice? Oh, the town's gone crazy at the minute. Every time I come back home, like everyone's outside my mum's house. Oh. <laughs> but you see all the little kids and that, and it's nice to inspire children and uh, people who want to perform and sing. And um, yeah, it's just nice to be like an advocate for that. And, yeah. and tell us, what will you sing tonight at the London Eurovision? Tonight party? I'm opening up with Lorraine. Um, me and my producer have worked on this crazy intro. It's going to be insane, and the the doll lift and everything oh. um, but it's going to be really cool the yeah. door lift sounds the dangerous door lift. I think I'm Callie Minogue uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're better than that and, uh, I love all it hardly <laughs> pulled to the world yeah. Michael Rice thank you, thank you so much so for nice stopping by no so you're welcome anytime I'm wee taking wee. this off I'm getting this hug <laughs> oh it's so nice to see you we're going to get a picture right we now you know what and we're going to compare it you look so healthy <laughs> oh, and like glowing you. and vibrant Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we can't wait to see you tonight. Oh, thank you. And, um, yeah, yeah, only love to you. Good pleasure. Thank oh, you so much. Good another cuddle. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon. He is Michael Rice, Eurovision 2019 American Idol contestant. That is just amazing. You guys, it is pure chaos here inside the London Eurovision party. I am still waiting for my partner in crime, Devin Adarimi, to appear. But until then, why don't we take some questions? So loud, someone says. Is it turn the mic down? Okay, I'm turning the mic down. I'm turning the mic down. 
turning the mic down, turning the mic down. Is this better? Is this better? I'm turning the mic down, turning it down more. Is that better? Please, please don't laugh. Debin Adarimi, WeebyBlogs.com. I'm turning the mic down because they say it's peaking. All right. You guys, is the sound better still too loud? Oh, perfect. Thank you, do, do, do. So Michael Rice, American Idol, was Sinan just here. Sinan Sadula, hunty, come join us. I thought... Are you raving, William? S-T-E, Devin, are you raving? Mm. You will rave, hunty. I've often practiced witchcraft. <laughs> How else am I going to get laid? <laughs> Honey, the mic is loud. Okay, oh, we, is it? Yeah, yeah, but we've turned it down, so everything is good. Did you manage to get the Let's see. Wi-Fi well, the public Wi-Fi is quite good. Oh, the really? public Wi-Fi is quite good. I, apologies for all the drama. We're still trying to get this mic set up correct. People say it's too loud. Sinan. Uh, now that Sinan is here. Yes, Sinan is here. He's got the camera set up, so you're good to go. Michael Rice is over there if you'd like to speak with him. Yeah, yeah. I know he would love to speak with you. Yes, you yes. are amazing. Sinan. By the way, did you sort out the Wi-Fi, honey, or are we good with the public? I've, I've you oh, thank you so much. It seems to be a good connection. Great. Thank you, Mary Cunningham. Now, Sinan, oh, you'll have to go down to the production suite. It's in the basement. But why don't you just hang for now, honey? Catch your breath. Catch your breath. All right, you guys. Questions. Sinan survived the cancellations. It's been really stressful this morning. Um, British Airways canceled the flight that Spain was meant to be on. So that was really difficult. The team has been incredible. We had early flights. We had late flights. We had people's mother in England going to pick up Eurovision singers. But this is how you make things happen. You just got to keep going. Daniel, unfortunately, there's not a live stream this evening. Evening, but Sinan and I will be uploading the performances live in the intervals, so don't you worry, the wait will not be too long. Can you say D-O-I? Rowan, Rosa, I don't know what tricks you're playing, but I don't know if I should say it. Anonymous, I am not sending nobody to the basement out of shame. I'm sending them there because they need to get their badge. Do we have a singer? Do we have a Let's bring a singer over. Moldova is here. Natalia Barbu in the middle. In the middle, please come. Devin, do you want to join? Oh, you're doing the interview. Natalia Barbu, let me get you in this frame, hunty. Wow, a Eurovision returnee. Yeah, returnee. <laughs> What's it like to be back? It's amazing. It's like a new me, you know? Yeah. It was like an, 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 another, another life. <laughs> was that Natalia a girl and now she's a woman? Yes, a mother, woman. <laughs> Motherhood must change you as a performer. As a, yeah, as a performer, as a songwriter, as a singer, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And what inspired you to come back this year? Actually, um, just a click of moment, you know, it's, um, this song, when it, when it came uh, to me, uh, it was just a song, just a muse, you know, yeah. uh, five minutes, I, uh, I wrote it and that's all. Five After, minutes? Yeah, it's, it's Sometimes it's it's happening like that when you when you do very quickly and uh, you have this connection with the divine source and it's uh, yeah. But um, after that, when I uh, went to uh, my uh, the studio and started to producing the song. Uh, that was the moment when we decided to, to go to Eurovision. So oh, wow. It was uh, uh, in the last moment, actually. And you said the song just came to you. Were you in the shower? Were you in the car? No, I was, I was in my studio. It's like a therapy to me, you know. Sometimes I need to do that. Not to go to, say, to, <laughs> to the doctors. I need to, to write music. So I'm doing that. And sometimes it's happening like this, uh, very quickly, uh, uh, not all the time, it's sometimes, it's these magical moments when we do that and uh, it's happening like that. And tell me, in the middle, in the middle of what? In the middle of traffic? In the middle of a situation? Um, we all um, try to find this kind of balance. It means balance. In the middle is uh, our intuition, is our um, voice. It's our heart, you know, when you when it's you when you're suffering and it, it hurts, it hurts like here in the middle sometimes ah. you feel it. Or here in the you know it's about us, about uh, 
a spirit hour. Our uh, beautiful souls, like you and me and all of us, are. And uh, we try to just to find happiness and love because we uh, all do the same thing. We just try to be happy and uh, uh, to, to find love. And you say this in your song I want you to be happy. Exactly. Like you, 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 all of us uh, to be happy. I think I know what your heartbeat sounds like. Dum da da dum 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 dum. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, I, I call this like a mantra, you know, because I was I was like in kind of trance when I did this. <laughs> it was this kind of movement. Uh, so uh, and people uh, have the have good reaction to this uh, yeah. this part. And I've got to ask you, you have these beautiful dancers on the stage with you. They almost look like they're doing ancient choreography. Who are they? What do they symbolize? Uh, I had this, uh, ah. because in Malmö it will be a little bit different. In um, Moldova, finally, you, you, you saw this very small stage. Right. <laughs> in Malmö we have this huge stage, so this is, will be different. I, I, uh, I will be just me on the stage. Uh, but the same kind of... Uh, um, um, yeah, this kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, tell me, the... Um, Spirituality? Exactly, exactly. With this uh, movement, with this, uh, uh, when you come to, to the earth, you know, ah. and to say, hey people, you, you, you are born to be happy, actually, yeah. with no wars, no tears, That's no beautiful. fear, so this is the message. And I will be surrounded by a beautiful story. Um, I have uh, this uh, amazing team in Romania, Mindset. They um, they make for me this um, uh, video animation, uh, beautiful images around me for, for this song. And believe me, this is will be incredible. This tease is incredible. There are 700 people watching you right now, yeah. <laughs> and they have some questions for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. How did you decide in Moldova to have everyone dressed the same? What did that mean? Did that mean power, uh, female energy, and um, creation? Ah, uh, okay. Creation is a huge theme for you. Yes. Yes. And I want to ask you about creating the Natalia Barbu of 2024. How is she different than Natalia Barbu from Eurovision before? Uh, she's more mature, but uh, the responsibility and the pressure is more this year for me, believe me. Because I, I need to... Uh, to um, um, uh, yeah, to, to, to be better than myself in 2007, you know? It's like a fight with me, uh, with myself. But you know who wins that fight? Natalia uh, yeah, Barbu. Yeah, 2024, <laughs> yes, of course. Um, yeah, it's, it's more pressure, more, uh, it's uh, more adrenaline, it's, uh, but it, I'm more mature, um, I have more to say, yeah. I have more to show, and I have this more power that I didn't have, I think, in 2007. I was uh, much younger, but today I, I think I, and I feel I have this uh, power and energy to, to connect with the, the millions of people. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. We're going to get one more question before we let you go. This comes from... Ooh, this is a very good one. It says the bar is very high to beat from your previous performance. Yes. How do you feel about that? Is there more pressure? Do you think you can achieve more? I think I can achieve more. So um, uh, the message actually is kind of the same. Fight for your freedom, for your soul, for your love. Uh, in the middle, it's kind of the same. Be happy. Uh, live in the with no fear. Raise your wings and don't be afraid of falling down. So messages are the same. Styles are uh, are a little bit different. But uh, message is the same, so uh, what I feel I uh, it's a lot of pressure, but this year I think I, uh, I can give more. <laughs> you are incredible. Thank you so much. Let's just get a photo before you go because I will not be around someone so beautiful for quite some time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Love you so much. Thank you. Love you too. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You
<laughs> that was Natalia Barbu from Moldova. In the middle, our girl wants to be on top. Please keep those questions coming. I am so dehydrated. Ooh, Sinan, honey. Please, do you have time? Oh, you're busy. Are you doing social media? You're incredible. Love him so much. That is Sinan Sadula, wooeblogs.com. So you guys, what's the tea? Who do you want to talk to? Right now we have a bit of a lull because of all the flight cancellations. Not all of the singers have arrived. Some of the flights arrived an hour late. So it's been a little tricky. Evie, that was Moldova indeed. What do you think of Slamen's acapella in Spanish? Slamen, I'm going to speak to him at his hotel a little bit after the press day this evening. He is being very cautious about resting, about taking care of his body, because he has a world tour. He's going all over the place. And so he's not trying to, what's the word, overdo it. He's trying to stay calm, cool, and collected. Um, and so he's actually not in the press day. We're going to go to his hotel. So can he, have some, he can have some private time. Um, but I really like the acapella. I think that he has a gift. It's gritty. It's raw. It's not digitally remastered. It's sort of natural. I like that sometimes maybe it's a little vulnerable and not perfect because that makes it real. Thank you so much. And you guys, I just want to check. Is the sound okay now? I remember during the Michael Rice interview, you said it was a bit too loud. Hopefully this is better. What is this question? This says, what was your favorite national final non-qualifier? That's from Finn. Ooh, that's a very good question. Y'all, what were some of the national finals? I am like, oh my goodness. I am so tired. Please, name a national final. I loved Medina. Medina and Melody Festival and K Sarah, Sarah. That was a real party vibe. It did not feel generic. It didn't feel processed. It felt real. William, Deben, and Sinan, will you go to Amsterdam next week for Eurovision in concert? Love you guys. We love you. I I will be there, Simon will be there, and my oh girl, my friend Freddie will also be there. And I don't know if he has messaged me. Oh, Freddie is not messaging at the moment. But yes, I will be in Amsterdam and I can't wait to see you. The national finals were mid. We're all tired. I you know, these comments are killing me. Oh, there's Lisa Jane. Hello, lovely woman. Love you so much. You are very, very kind. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look incredible. Come say hello. We've got Eurovision super fan Lisa Jane coming to say hello. Lisa, of course, works with artists including Slavko Kalezic, one of our favorites. And let me get this camera on so you can see yourself. There you are. Now, Lisa. What non-qualifier from the national final, national final runner-up, do you miss having here? Hmm, I've got a few. I was big into San Remo this year. There were a lot mm. of artists in San Remo that I really enjoyed. Santa Francesi. Beautiful. Who won through uh, San Remo Giovanni and are now, that then went into the, the big show. They've been my big discovery, I think, from this year. Of course, Diodato. Oh. We all he never does wrong. <laughs> never <laughs> does wrong. Like, he can do nothing wrong. Like, oh. That guy just walks on a I, I do miss Bashar from Iceland. I, I really enjoyed that song, regardless of everything else that was going on. I, I did really enjoy that song. It's kind of in my wheelhouse. Slightly rocky, slightly country. That's yeah, rodeo that's from really. Iceland. It's an interesting idea. Well, yeah, but it, it worked. I thought it was really yeah. good, really well presented. How do you feel about um, Iceland's choice, Hera Bjork? Oh, I mean, it's always nice, isn't it, to have um, artists back that have been here before. They kind of know the game, so they've got kind of, they know the fan yeah. side of stuff, they know how it works. Things have changed a lot since it was 2010, I think, when she... Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, 2010, yeah. je ne sais quoi. Um, so things have changed a bit since then, so, yeah. And not here today, it's Hera Bjork's mum's birthday today. There you go. You heard it here first. Hera Bjork's mum, happy birthday, girl. <laughs> now, Lisa. Of all the songs this year, who are your two or three favorites, personal favorites? Not who you think will win, but who you love. Okay, so I've got skin in the game this year because I've been working with Fanny Ferg. Ah, oh, incredible. Worked they on, are incredible. Worked on the video for that, which was incredible. Which is so worked nice. Worked on the art team for that. It, it balances incredible. dark and mainstream, I think. I'm so pleased with it. Well, I mean, it was a really hard working day, you know, to, to do it. It was all filmed in, this, in one day. Mm. Um, it was a really, really tough day. But it was it was really fun, and even putting it together there, we were like, yeah, this is going to be really good. And it wasn't until all of us on the team even saw the final cut, we were like, oh, this is even better than we'd imagined it from kind of being there and doing it. So kind of playing with the fire in the in the bathroom, and I swear they are still getting like salt out 
of the <laughs> in the bathroom while we sat up there. Meet your ex son, Lisa J. Lowen. Now, oh, it is getting really crowded up in here. Now, Lisa, one final question before you go. Oh, hang on, I would take the other ones. Oh, please. San Marino, because I am you know, partly San Marino these days. Love, love, I love Magara. I think they're great. And uh, Don's from Latvia. Also, oh, so emotional. Adore that song. Adore that song. Incredibly so emotional. Really diverse kind of favourites for me, actually, this year. <laughs> well, interestingly, Bambi Thug from Ireland is meant to stop by at 2.30, so not yes. long from now. So we will have our eyes open for them. Lisa Jane, thank you so thank much for stopping by. Us. We are rooting for Ireland and by extension you. Yay! Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Willy Blogs. Love you. <laughs> That is Lisa Jane Lewis, a woman of my own heart, working with Bambi Thug from Ireland. That music video, Lisa Jane was all up in it backstage making things work. Now, you guys, what questions do you have coming in? Debin Hunty, Sinan, would someone like to please sit? Let's, let's kiki. You need to kiki. You need to kiki with the people. All right, greetings from Croatia. Greetings back to you, Vala Dobradan. Oh, we have a star. Who? We have a star. Who? This is Estonia. Oh, okay. We need this hunty. <laughs> Estonia is coming. This is so exciting. Debin hunty, please. Y'all, Vis Minust from Estonia has arrived. Hey, Hello. Here. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. Please. Uh, Welcome, so nice to see you. Let's get you on camera and perhaps some. There's like six of us, so yeah. it's gonna be oh, tight. Here, I'll get in the yeah. middle, y'all come around. I will push make, this back. Nice, nice, uh, photo here. Sinan, honey, let's get that social media going. All right, we're all in it. All right. So first of all, who is in Vismanust and who is in Pulu? Uh, Pulu actually is missing from the photo right now. Pulu! Pulu. Uh, Pulu is it? Let's get that Pulu yeah, in here. Yeah. <laughs> Pulu? This is Ramo over there, and Marco coming. There we go. Marco. Now, whose idea was it to bring all of you together? Mine. I think it was uh, yeah. Chris, yeah. yeah. And what inspired you? Uh, they... Pulup. Pulup inspired me to do it. <laughs> He's a crazy guy. These are crazy guys. We pretty much saw them performing in uh, Estonian Music Awards, and uh, he gave, the, gave them a call next day and uh, said, "Let's do some." I music think like it, it took a year or a year and a half, like after that call, for us to come together, like really. Yeah. And you have very different styles. Was it easy to come together? It was very, very easy. easy. Very easy. easy. Pretty easy. Surprisingly yeah, because, easy. Because they're just a little bit older versions of ourselves. <laughs> As we human beings are, we are the same. Yeah. <laughs> Genetically, you know, chromosomically, <laughs> comically. It's like hanging, comically, hanging really up important. with them is yeah. like looking into the future mirror of, of yourself, you know. It's just like, is that a good thing we, or a bad it, thing? It's, a, it's the it best thing. It depends on whom you look, me or Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have said you give very good daddy energy. Are you a father? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we also we also have a mother here, but we are not going to tell who is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you decide who's the mom, mom figure here. Well, mother, father, drugs. The song involves drugs, so please tell us, what is the message? The, the song uh, explicitly does not involve drugs, that's what, what we're saying. There's, there ain't, we don't know anything about these drugs here. Nope. Mm, what about those drugs over there? No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. There, yeah. they, there might be some drugs over there, <laughs> yeah. but definitely not here. No, definitely not here. I think the, you can bring the, the dogs if you want. One of the layers of the song is the saying that don't judge a book by its cover. So it's, yeah. um, oh. uh, there's many layers into yeah, the, one the, short three minute song. We first had the, the name of the song, it came first. Oh. And first it was not the name of the song, but just the topic. I, <clears throat> I was. Uh, me and Carl, we were driving to our first uh, band camp, and <clears throat> I was uh, complaining that although we are with Pulup, that although we are already quite good in, in music business, we, we still don't know anything about drugs. <laughs> and uh, he thought it's actually a good idea to discuss it a bit, uh, elaborate yeah, it. Yeah, everybody. Uh, and, uh, if you're yeah. so bitch, you know about, about drugs. So yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. It's, uh, presumption. Now, have people ever presumed this about you? Yeah, that's the other, that's another layer of the story that they uh, we kind of had like some um, uh, what's what do you say like vibe or understanding. People people think that we're like this very crazy chaotic uh, guys that just don't think we ourselves fit that no, notorious brand of, uh, of ourselves. And the, the us part, the five minus part, is in the brackets. When you read the title uh, without the brackets or the words inside the brackets, then it's Pulu Pulu. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And so yeah, not just pretty faces. 
with brains also. The name Pulu, what does that mean? Oh, well, Romo will tell you. Yeah. It's a tree or wood. The first three letters are wood or tree. And another four letters loop comes from because we use looper. Okay. So wooden looping is a uh, right, right translation. Gotcha, a wooden looper. Goodness, because in English, poo loop sounds like something else, as y'all know. Vis <laughs> <laughs> minust, please yeah, explain that. Nothing to do with poo, yeah, no. no. <laughs> and Basically, vis um, minust means, uh, in English, the game of vis minust is called the game of horse, I think. The yeah. which, which play with the basketball. The basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. the same game. Yeah. When you, you throw the ball and another person has to throw the ball from the same place yeah. that the previous guy uh, scores. We just get five yeah. negative points, which are the minuses. Okay, they're not good with the balls, but that's okay. Now, when you entered in Estonia, did you think you would win? Yes. <laughs> Very yeah, confident. We, that was we, easy. We wouldn't risk otherwise. Uh, yeah. We were sure that we're going to be either first or fourth. No, actually, to tell the yeah. truth, I was really nervous uh, because... Uh, you know, we already have some status in Estonia, and when you don't go, when would if we would have been the last one, it would have been a disaster problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two two such uh, great bands, big bands in Estonia, mm -hmm. go to the Estonian song contest and finish last. It would be the end. It's a, it would be catastrophic for us. Yeah. yeah. Now there are I a lot of. I, uh, I think I promised to hang myself if we didn't finish first or fourth. <laughs> Well, we are glad you are alive. Now, Lucia, <laughs> Lucia yeah. says you're giving Tom Cruise energy. What is Tom Cruise energy? Very Tom. Mission Impossible, she says. Ah, yeah. uh, because of the jackets? Absolutely. And someone asks, and the sunglasses. are you coming to Croatia anytime soon? <laughs> Not that I know of. Maybe maybe all of all of is like traveling. We were, we were all of you probably just came from Croatia. Maybe yeah. you should come Certainly. to Estonia instead. We're gonna have shows. We're gonna have an album dropping. So we're gonna have like we're gonna host a album dropping show on the 31st of uh, May in Tallinn, Estonia. Yeah, come, come see uh, six Tom Cruises uh, performing in Tallinn instead. Oh my goodness! And un with the father. Yeah. unfortunate soul says, can you ask them their favorite Eurovision entries this year? Ramo, we like Thailand, didn't we? Thailand? Ireland. <laughs> oh, Ireland. Yeah, th I haven't heard Thailand, Thailand yet. Thailand would be nice. <laughs> yeah. um, let me think. Uh, Finland, Finland. I was ah, Finnish, yeah. yeah. Okay. There are brothers who speak pretty much the same language, so we need to uh, I, th I think Croatia is uh, good, but uh, if they would have sang the song in uh, their own language, they would definitely win. Ah, okay. Since it's in English, maybe second place? Mm. But it's a good song. This is from Julia. Will your outfits at Eurovision be different to the ones in SD Lab? Yes. Uh, yeah. No. We had, we had like 50 meters of fabric that was uh, made into new clothes by our uh, uh, clothes, clothes guy. But uh, it's, it's a little bit same, but uh, different at the same time. New fabric, new uh, clothing. And Anonymous wants to know, what do you want us to take away from your performance and whose idea was the choreography? Choreography is uh, Marco Vason's original dance, uh, hence the name Vason. We, what we want for you to take away is uh, hashtag energy is free. Energy is free. Yeah. Since everything yeah. is very expensive in your energy region, is free. Uh, the energy on stage doesn't cost the artist nothing, so that's free. But and that's an absolute statement. Energy is free. <laughs> yeah. There are two statements: energy is free or free your energy. Ooh. <laughs> so no stage props and beyond the instrument. And free my boy energy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't want to hog you from everyone else. So final request, could you give us a little harmony from your song? <laughs> but maybe not too loud because the mic is right there. Yeah, we, wake them. We, wanna, uh, so, uh, we have the instrument yeah, also. To bring the instrument out. Oh, we are getting instruments out. So I will ask one more question while we wait for that instrument. What do your parents think of this performance? Do they think you're like over the top and wild? Are they loving yeah. it? They are yeah. very proud. Yeah. My, yeah. my father is from Bormsey Island and we tell that the dance comes from Bormsey Island and so the whole island supports us. Oh, please and the tell instrument us. also comes from Bormsey Island. Yeah, because the instrumental harp it was played by, by the people who lived in Bormsey, a very small island, and it died out. The, the tradition 
almost died out and now we are reviving it. 22nd of June, come to Wormsy Island, we're gonna have a show there. <laughs> now Wormsy Island, what's it known for? Is it like... It was, it was, uh, it was uh, Estonian Swedish population who lived there, so actually they spoke uh, local dialect of Swedish language and uh, during the Second World War they had to escape, so they went to Sweden and uh, most of them went to Sweden. Oh, wow. But, uh, so now we are going to take uh, Dalharpa back to the Swedish uh, culture. Which is the name of the instrument. <laughs> The Swedes wanted to burn all the Dalharpas. One of the instruments uh, remained unburnt and it's a thousand yeah. years old. That, there, there, there was a like, really religious movement uh, at, the mo at the island uh, on 1870s where people decided that it's a devil's instrument. Oh no! And they gathered them all and set them in fire. It's but hey Sveria, 12 points please! Yeah. Let's see what happens. So harmonies are incoming from Vismenust <laughs> and Puluk. Me pole narkomaani pole mida viideid Kleidib meie selle saam prügi kästi leid Voolid see kroonika ja suvilas on reid Vaimus koit, mis näha täis, pandi pudeleid That was incredible. They have beautiful voices and a wild look. Vismenust and Pulup, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's get a photo before yeah, y'all sure. go. And thank you for your comments. Oh, you are so thank well. You. Those 12 points. That was the best moment of my life, yeah, giving you, you 12 points. Lucy, honey, can you take a photo? Hey, girl, baby girl, can you take a photo? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Love you so much, guys. Right, thanks, Thank you. Thank you. They are Estonia, and they are so kind, so down to earth. You need to look past the looks. They are warm, gentle giants, adorable teddy bears. Lucy Percy, honey, the people want to see you, please. I need to give a shout out to the most beautiful woman at the London Eurovision party. And I'm not talking about Devin at ArabianMovieBlogs.com. I am talking. This woman has single-handedly been drill sergeant, getting people on buses, getting people from the airport, getting people in this room, setting up this room. You have done everything. It has been a feral day, but a fun day. How are you? Uh, surviving. <laughs> Would you like a donut? Always. Please, have a donut. She I mean, deserves this but I'll more go. than anyone. Oh, sorry, cupcake. <laughs> I'm not from this country, forgive me. <laughs> no, it's been a really, really good day. Everyone is so nice. Yeah. We have a really, really nice like class of 2024. Everyone's lovely. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. It's been such a good day. And oh, uh, Michael Rice. We had a good catch up with Michael. I, I love Michael Rice so much. She's such a darling. And like Conchita, everybody loves, everyone's like, Conchita's so nice. I'm like, of course Conchita's so nice, of course. So, it's been gorgeous, gorgeous. And oh my God, I was just watching you interview Vispa Noose and Pulu. They are one of my favorites this year. Uh, me and my husband are dressing up as them to go to the semi-final, so I was thrilled. <laughs> Can I get this angle right? There you are. These menus, I think there's more to them than people realize. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. you see crazy, but like they're just so warm. Yeah. It's like so. Oh. But who do you believe? Girl, <laughs> that was Debonetta Remy, WeeWeeVlogs.com. <laughs> so funny. No, yeah, I think they're really great because I think like, so people are going, ha ha ha, drug song. But I don't think it necessarily is. I think, mm. I mean, maybe I'm deeping it a little bit, but I think maybe it's looking at like wealth disparity on like how people get treated when they're caught with drugs and like, mm. you know, because they talk about being poor, getting caught. I think there is so much more to it than ha ha, drugs. Like, it's so funny. I, lo I just think it's so brilliantly done as well. So I love it. I love that song. I think also they are some of the most popular people in here right now. Like literally, the second they walked away from you, another fan site there just got <gasps> and like literally everyone is so excited to meet these guys. Absolutely. Just so, so you like, know, there are no drugs in that cupcake. <laughs> but Lucy, I just need to respond to a media email, so I'm gonna let you take over the stream for a second. Um, thoughts on Marcus and Martina? Someone asked. Oh, I. You know what? Right. So some people don't like it. So loads of people love it. I actually, even though I'm not usually like a massive hardcore pop girly, I really like it. I think the production of it is so good. And like, literally, just that moment was like, bam, 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 and they're coming through, like in the staging in Melfest, where they're coming down that tunnel almost, that corridor. It looks so good. 
and like I'm so excited because I mean Melfest always copy and paste and they definitely can do that when it's literally hosted in Sweden so it's going to look so slick so good I cannot wait they are lovely as well they came by I nearly elbowed I think it was Marcus in the face by accident and he was very gracious when I apologised so <laughs> fantastic and there is a question where is baby lasagna now baby lasagna will be here later his sound check is at 4 30 but he said that he will be here just before we're keeping our eyes open to see who else is walking in it's, it's pure so chaos busy. right now isn't it yeah it's crazy like i've never seen such a busy press room before it's really busy so many people so it's really good vibe here i think because the artists here are so nice everyone is so excited everyone's having a really great time uh, with baby lasagna there was a queue outside so there's the official eurovision uh official podcast is recording literally kind of as part of this venue and there was a huge queue waiting to go in there and everyone was like where's baby lasagna what time is baby lasagna coming everyone wants a piece of that lasagna cutting up for them so i think that's one that people are really hyped for they are the best carbs carbs from a lasagna let me tell Love you how to I think um, the line City Boys might get a big reaction in here from the British crowd because Brits love a little bit of a silly moment. So Now, okay. we're waiting. Oh, stand unique. Oh, Junior Eurovision has entered the building. I would turn this, but the cord will rip. Can y'all hear Stand Unique from the United Kingdom? Yes, Rowan Rosa. Tally is here. She is downstairs. Her father is very much involved in her, um, what do you say, uh, journey. So we've seen a lot of her dad as well. And um, yeah, she seems enthusiastic and excited to really get on with things. Yeah. yeah, she came in at the same time as Gorta. And um, she was like having a joke because those people were like, Gorta, Gorta. Uh, are they, are Stan Unique leaving? They are leaving, oh, sadly. Leaving. Uh, okay. Damn. Oh, well, they will probably be back later and we will try to get them then. No, yeah, so Tally came in at the same time as Gorta. Those people were like, Gorta! She, she just went, Tally, for herself. And then everyone was like, ah. She's really funny. She's got a very good sense of humor. Really, really funny. So she's come in. I think she's probably like sound checking or something like that right now. Um, I don't know, but I'm sure she'll be here soon if people are looking out for her. So I was like, where's Angelina? She, I think, is a much later. I think she's later in the running order. Shall I, I pull that up, actually? I will pull up the rehearsal list. Yeah. Um, she was delayed by an hour as well. Not anybody's fault or anything. Um, oh, there's Chris. Uh, that's um, Betty Lasagna's manager. Okay. Um, sending this to the computer. Oh, my goodness. You guys, there are nearly 1,000 of you here. Oh Thank you so much. Bambi Thug is on their way. They are meant to be here around 2.30, so don't you worry. We are going to get you that Bambi and that Thug, honey. We want all personalities coming at you. Should we tease some of the performance times? Yeah, I mean, Or is that not? against the rules? No, well, no rules. No, 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 no. I have just seen Windows 95 Man go in, because the BBC do some filming here as well. I've just seen Windows 95 Man go in, and I'm pretty sure he had no shorts or anything on. And I was like, are you not cold? Yeah. He's like, no, I'm finished. I'm not going to lie. I saw ass hanging out. My <laughs> Freddie at the hotel sent a photo. I was like, girl. Now, this is the first part of the show, the first act. There are six acts tonight overall and in act one we have michael rice gustav stand unique melody festival and queen jacqueline kino rosa lynn and then our very first artist from eurovision 2024 who is it slim so that is act one we will tease the other acts later but just so you know that's the opening group of acts Aren't you so excited to see Rosa Lynn again? Oh, I love her. I brought her a book as well because she. Did you? Yeah. Okay. She's like the very last chapter of my book is very Rosa Lynn heavy, as you remember. Of course. <laughs> yes. But I will not spoil or spill any tea. But um, it's very emotional to see her again because yeah. of circumstances. Yeah. Um, so I look forward to seeing her. I mean, she's one of the biggest success stories from Eurovision, and she oh, came twentieth in Eurovision. So where people will now be like, oh, well, you know, who cares? This person's going to come there in the final. Who cares, honey? They might have a snap moment. Who cares? So, you know, 
it, anything can happen once you've done Eurovision. You know, Joker out came 21st or something, and they've done a huge tour, got loads of fans. So yeah, Rosalyn is just such an incredible example. I think she's the second most streamed song Eurovision song of all time now. So yeah, she's, Rosalyn is super close to a billion streams. By the way, it's unbelievable. She's on like 970. Thousand. And she's doing incredible in Italy. Her and Alpha. Is it Alpha or Alfie? They have this beautiful song together. They could sing Snap together. She just works in Italian. I don't know what the magic is, but it's absolutely fantastic. Just so you know, there are no new singers in the building yet. We will let you know the moment they arrive. People are delayed because of those flight cancellations and flight delays. Um, how is that going? Are people still at the airport? Or no, no, no. Okay, so everyone is now in London. No, yeah. Um, the One of the flights was cancelled, as we know, because Nebulosa. Um, and then they were rebooked, but then that was late. It, they got here about an hour ago, or they got to the hotel about an hour ago. And some of them have started arriving for their sound checks now. Um, and then they'll come here. I know Bambi did their sound check a while ago, but they're getting into their full aesthetic before coming here because they, I mean, to be honest with you, they look incredible in that walk. But um, yeah, they were coming here soon after that. So fingers crossed we will see Bambi soon. They are ready to turn looks. They really are. And there is a crowd gathering outside, but they appear to be Eurovision fans rather than Eurovision singers. <laughs> um, but hey, just as entertaining. Do you like Firefighter from Nutza? This is Rowan Rosa. Let me kick this off with a big yes. Mm. This is giving me everything I want. F ethnic folk, dance, fire, body, voice. And I love how it's not trying to be high art. It's trying to be fun. And I think that's what it's giving us lots and lots of fun. And I mean the production value, that bit which is like, put out the fire, put out the fire. And it's got like the yeah. sirens and the boom, boom. It's, oh, it's so good. Um, me and Tom Hendrick, a fellow Wee Wee Bogger, talked about this for about an hour. Like, I think it was last night, just going on about like, how good Firefighter is, how amazing Nutzer is. She was on American Idol. I think she was top 12. Yeah, yeah. She did pretty damn well in American Idol. We had, well, by the way, Michael Rice was an American Idol as well, like this year. Yeah, he, he kicked off our live well. stream actually. Did he? Yeah. Oh, what a babe. Sorry, I could tell that man all day. Um, but Nutza, you know, we would talk about that. Like, Nutza's just such an incredible person. I watched her sound check earlier. Fantastic. Stunning. Nutza can sing like no other. Mm. But I'm really glad she didn't go for a ballad, right? The obvious thing for her was to bring a Whitney Houston song or Mariah Carey. But instead she said, no, I'm going to get Downward Dog on the floor and sing about being a firefighter just like starting blazes with my body. She's giving sexuality. She's giving sensuality. Oh, so good. You know? And she's saying, I own this. This is my space. And I'm here to save you. Yeah. She's incredible. I love her so much. Have you had Sarah Benici here yet? No. Is Sarah in the room? Is I don't Sarah know. Benici in the she room? She did her soundtrack first. She Why is, is our singing girl? what can only be described as an absolute gay anthem as well as her song. Oh. It will be the gayest thing that's ever happened at a pre party. And I watched a sound check for it and I nearly collapsed. It was so good. I'm so excited. Like, I mean, like, I like Luke anyway. I hope, oh my god, I hope it's just a flip. Um, the little, um, the thing looks like foosball where it goes whoop. Um, but then also, like, literally this song she's doing, I'm so excited for everyone to see her other song because it's like, no, not yes. Can't wait. Now we're gonna move on to Meme Tube. Meme Tube says, Do you like Ulvaham? The answer for me is yes. I think Ulvaham is giving us an original flavor folk metal rock i mean that is absolutely unique and incredible lucy what are your thoughts well for a start by the way um if you haven't watched it on weebie blogs youtube channel william and devon did do their top five for the scandi or nordic entries and norway obviously is including that so watch that to see what they thought of Ulverham there yeah a lot of love for Ulverham. yep and I really like it. You know, I'm a bit of a rock girly at Eurovision. My favourite song of all time at Eurovision is Midnight Gold. Um, <laughs> but this one isn't typically what I'd go for, but I think it's so impressive. A, that they're singing in Norwegian. Yeah. B, it's so different. I mean, when else are we ever going to get a song at Eurovision about a stepmother, like, putting spells on you and having to eat your brother's heart or something? It's mad. It's so, but like in a really great way. Like such an incredible. Uh, it goes back to folklore or something, right? And it's so special to have that Eurovision, whether it's your cup of tea or not. Like it's 
and I think it's most people's cups of tea. I think everyone, most people really love it. Do, special. This is from Allison A. Allison A says, Do you like Jacko by Lada Neva? This song is so much fun. Yeah. What I love is that it's messy, right? It's yeah. not trying to be polished perfection. It's like, this is what we got, and this is what we're going to serve. And you can yeah. eat it, or you don't have to eat it. But y'all, I'm eating. What about you? So, with Chaco, I didn't get it until the video from Madrid went up. Yeah. And which was like, I'm sorry for the noise, whatever was about to come out of my mouth. But the, yeah, when she was like performing, I was like, oh, I get it now. I get it now. And like, I haven't really had a choice because it's one of my husband's favourites and it's on all the time in our house. Um, Has it ended your marriage yet? <laughs> Are things yet. still going okay? Yet. Um, but no, like, it's so good. It's, I, I, I genuinely, I, I genuinely didn't care for it, particularly until I saw Madrid. And I just, now I'm fully on board. Okay, we have people here. This, but that, there's Katie Wilson, a wee wee blogger. Interesting. Is Freddie now alone at the hotel? Maybe. Um, I'm just gonna check on that real quick. Yeah. Actually, and there have been some comments about Debbie, and people want to see you on the live stream, honey. Um, Someone's put. They want to know what my personal top three is. Third is Estonia. Well. I don't know, they're kind of all joint. Like, I don't know if I want to put them in order because I'm dressing up as Estonia to go to the semi. Like, I really love it. So basically, Estonia, Czechia, and Switzerland in some order. Switzerland is my favourite, I think. But like, all three of them, I just have so much love for them. Like, so deeply in my heart. I just, it's such a good year. Now, people are asking more about the running order. So why don't we tease Act oh. 2? Well, we start Act 2 with something a bit special that isn't actually a Eurovision act. So at the moment, at, here at Outlet, they have a production of the musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, or Priscilla, the Party. And we have some of the, uh, the actors, the dancers from that, giving us a little taste of it. So we kick off with that. And then we go into Tally from Luxembourg, up next with Fighter. Um, from there, we go to Isaac from Germany. By the way, und underrated. I really love Oh, Isaac. I, mm, I think the voice is incredible. Incredible. The voice is incredible. Really incredible. And I, I think, think the song is radio like friendly. It. Yeah. I, I just think people's complaints are that it's a bit familiar. Yeah, quite possibly. But sometimes, I think people vote for familiar. People go for comfort That's sometimes. True. I really like him. After that, we bring out the... Uh, Estonia, uh, Vispa News and Pulu, and then we have the witch. Well, not the witch. There's so many witches. <laughs> Who are you kid. calling a witch? <laughs> this witch, <laughs> son of a witch. No, um, Raven from Slovenia. And then we're going to move on to Act Three, kicking it off with Eurovision 2017, standing in a glass seashell. Who is it? Lucy Jones. Never give up on you. Iconic performance. Oh, I mean, that set me fully to Lulu as a UK Eurovision fan. I was like, we're winning. We're winning. <laughs> no, we didn't. But you, you know, know they, what? they it have, lives here. It lives in your heart. And that seashell was actually made in Ukraine. Because yes. it was made of glass, they could not transport it. The risk was too great. So they had it constructed in Ukraine. Um, yeah, she's performing 13th this evening. 14th is a titan. Who is it? No, she's not. She's oh. able to come. Oh, no. Unfortunately, she had visa issues, I believe. So Albania have, had visa issues. Yeah. So after that, we have Poland. We have Luna. Where is which, my girl Lucy? Sorry. What? Why don't we... I'm here. I'm here. Why don't we this way? <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, after that we have got Poland with Luna, the tower, another really underrated Can I tell you something so embarrassing? Go on. So I was trying to get Debin out of the toilet and I was banging on the door. I was like, Debin, yeah. girl, we gotta get upstairs. And the door opens and it's Luna. <laughs> Was she like? <laughs> yeah, I felt bad, but no, she was really sweet about it. She was sweet about it. I didn't mean to harass so nobody. I just wanted to find Devon at arimuweeblogs.com because we needed to start the press. That's why she didn't hear Devon before. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hi. So after Luna, by the way, do you love Luna? I love Luna. I love Luna. So I positive. really love Luna. I think it's just such a nice song, and sometimes like that is always a good thing to have. I think it's really fun, upbeat. I enjoy it a lot. Great energy, so positive. Yeah. She told our Sinon Sadula in Barcelona mm. that on stage in Eurovision, she's going to be channeling shadows and like overcoming insecurities and obstacles. So expect a light show from Luna. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Um, going on to another one that I personally really, really love, and I think it's underrated. Don's from Latvia. Um, people, oh my god, on social media, people are realizing Don's has got the muscles and that. They're quite enjoying Don's now. 
But Hollow is so beautiful. Oh, I really gorgeous. love it. It's stunning. And like his voice, voice. Oh my god. His his voice. Oh my god. It really is next level. And I feel like people mm. are sleeping on it. Mm. Um, if this makes the final, I think the jury is really going to get behind oh, it. Yeah. I do have can oh Stan Junique is in the building. Shall we? Let's get yes. Stan Junique Hunty. Lucy, can you play pass interference? Yeah, let's get oh and they're coming. Stan Junique is coming. Oh, Stan Junique is in the building. They're coming. You guys, thank you so much for everything. We have the women, the girls, beautiful ladies. Please join us. Thank you so can much. You can sit here. Someone can sit I'm gonna stand. You, you're, gonna, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna stand unique. I'm gonna stand unique. <laughs> there, let's all get in close. Oh, oh yeah. You guys, this is Stan Unique, Junior Eurovision 2023. How are you? We're good. We're good. How, are How are you? So good. But this good. is not about me, it's about y'all. <laughs> Oh, babes. For people who don't know, and y'all should know, please introduce yourselves. I'm Yasmin. I'm Hila. And I'm Maisie. I'm and... Ooh! <laughs> oh, we didn't do a thing! Let's all squeeze in, because I want this beautiful face in the... There you We're go. We're forgetting our things. Perfect. There we are. Now tell us, how have your lives changed since Junior Year of Vision? Major difference. Like, Major honestly, dream come true. Like, we felt like we were celebrities. You are yeah. a celebrity. When I came back from Eurovision, every person I went to sing something to me, I went, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, it was such a, it was such a like, fun experience. And I think now, I'm looking back on it going, I really miss it. But it's so cool to go on YouTube and just type in. Like, as if I'm on Google. See my face. As if I am on Google. As if. I used to search. on Google. Like, like <laughs> has, did anybody ever used to like search their names up on Google and, and nothing, nothing come up? up and, nothing and now it's like my face. Yeah. It's incredible. And you know, if you Google talent, if you Google charisma, <laughs> <laughs> comes up now I've got to ask you when they put the three of you together sometimes that can go wrong but you all get along so beautifully because they are angels they're beautiful <laughs> girls full of talent they know what they're about they know what lies in the, what the future holds right yeah and you know oh, what God. you better start taking photos and freezing this screen because <laughs> These are like the, the future of pop bands. Atomic Kitten, sorry, you're out. Sugar Babe, come back next year. Girl. Nice girls, oh. we don't need that reason because we got Shit. Shit! Can I just say, it's Stand Unique with a three, not Stand Unique with a four girl. <laughs> Get out the picture. Yeah. That Guys, is it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop arguing. There's enough Stand Unique to go around. Now tell us, people got a taste of Stand Unique at Junior Eurovision. What's next? New songs? New performances? Well, we try and write. I yeah. try and write. It doesn't very go very well. I, I, I find, I, yeah, I find writing really hard. So if any of you have any tips on how to write And if you have any I songs, do, I, I do them all. I do Please. send them. I do like. not write with my dad, so. <gasps> I can help the gellies oh, out. Oh, okay. I've got to ask, do y'all have like sleepovers and stuff? Because you're so connected. I feel like your we friendship. Have tonight. Oh. We're having one tonight because we literally live miles away from each other. Oh. Yeah. She's Liverpool. I'm Newcastle and she's Essex. Oh, nice. So that's like the holy trinity. It's like the triumvirate. Yes. Yes. The top of the country, the side of the country, and the bottom of the country. It's just literally. incredible. And yet the energy works. The three of you have this natural chemistry. Well, what was it like when you first met? Honestly, we met on the voice kids. Well, I met Hayla on the voice. And then um, I kind of had her. Uh, I didn't know Maisie. I had just seen her walking around. Um, and then when I saw Hayla at the auditions, I was like, I know you. Sit here. I know you. <laughs> if I have to yeah. do this group audition, you are doing it with me. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, and then I didn't originally get taken down with these two. Really? I got taken down with a boy in like a duo he was a slay he was a slay he was fantastic <laughs> love you joseph shout out <laughs> shout out to joseph but like <laughs> but like when these two walked in the room so it clicked Honestly, it was like it was all of our all was just merged together it was like like there was no doubt it was like it was given like yeah there was i think no we just clicked like our vibes we were just like ourselves around each other from the get-go and i really appreciate that because i don't shut up like honestly <laughs> i talk i laugh yes, whatever babe, i not. think do you know what i mean amen do not leave me hanging hey la <laughs> question though did you keep the outfits yes yes, yes. they will be making an yes. appearance tonight oh incredible they are coming back after a lot of restoring <laughs> and a lot of dry cleaning because yeah. no, it, you know, your vision was intense. You hours so and hours. <laughs> hours and hours. 
What was that like, Junior Eurovision? Were you impressed by all the talent? Yes. Yeah. I'm not even at everyone in Region 4. When we seen everyone in Region 4, everybody's so good. And we were like, we were thinking, like, it doesn't matter if you don't win this or we get a yeah. low place because we've had the competition with people who are so amazing. Yeah. And, like, that's already a big accomplishment as well. Like, everyone was so talented. I, le- I literally still listen to everyone's songs now. No, like, it's so crazy though because I expected to go and just come back and nothing in my life would have changed. Like, I've made friends that yeah. I'll have for like the rest of my life. Like, the Netherlands team, oh, speak to, I speak to them every day. Really? Every yeah, day of my do. life. Yeah, yeah, literally. You kids and the technology, I am in so the, impressed. And um, Yulan from all, I speak to her all the yes, time. Yes! Love you! And the Yan girls, the Yan girls. Love oh, you girls. Girl. Girl. You are Sophie. iconic. Sophie Lennon. Like, Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so kind. Someone named Simple Things YouTube gave us a 10 pound tip. Oh my oh. God. So in order to thank him, can we get some harmonies? Um, yeah, should one, we do that in the shadow bit? Yeah. One, two, three, four. You've been living in the shadow, and the dark is all you need. But I want to see you in the light. <laughs> Just incredible. Now look, before I let you go to the press room, because everyone wants to talk to you, shout out to ESC Gabe. I see you. I understand you, Nick. They are coming right to you. Do you have a message for all of your fans on WeBeBlogs.com? Honestly, we thank cannot thank you guys for everything. And we love you all. And all of your fan art, your comments, your TikTok, everything. Your edit, the the anime posters that, that you guys have made. We love everything. We love and we try and like and repost everything yes, we can. Yes, honestly. But, but there is so all, much. I'm always following people back and I'm like, I'm like, how do I do this again? <laughs> I have never felt so old in my life. Thank you so much. We're just going to take a I've photo real quick. Yes. Sinan Hunty, picture. Love you. All right. We're looking at <laughs> oh, Scan yes, Unique 4 is back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Black Odaria. Thank nice you so you. much. Great to meet you. It was lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I give you the hug? Oh, please do. Oh, oh thank oh, you. Oh, thanks. Oh, nice to meet you. Essex all the way. <laughs> Liverpool, Newcastle, love. <laughs> they are stand unique with a three. Three is better than one. And this one is tired. Y'all, the energy, the effervescence, and the love from Stand Unique. Now, Devin and Sinan are just out of the frame, and I'm hoping I can get them in to say, Sinan Hunty, would you like to say hi or are you not feeling well? Sinan Sadula, he was on a flight this morning very early with the stars from Barcelona. What, oh girl, no cursing, family show. What was it like for you this morning on that plane? The, I'll scoot oh over. Oh my gosh, turbulence, turbulence, turbulence. We were literally, uh, I, I just remember me and Angelina, we were like trying not to, you know, Vomit. Cute. It was it was bad, especially the landing. Oh my gosh! I thought that the plane is made of paper. I was like, go down to the left, to the right. Those wings? <laughs> Who brought up the wind? I wanna know. Those wings yeah. were meant to fly, even with the turbulence. So do not worry. And once again, shout out to Simple Things YouTube for that ten pound tip that will Ooh. really help us with our YouTube Thank channel. You. you are very very kind. Now, Sinan, I want to ask you, who impressed you the most at the Barcelona Eurovision party last night in Spain? So, uh, France was one of the best, like, he killed it, absolutely. Uh, Angelina Mango, you know, every time she performs, she performs at another level, like, it's on a great all the time. Uh, then, oh my gosh, we had, oh, Albania, vocals girl? She showed that she has those vocals. And I'm so happy that she she made it. And I'm so happy that Theodora, oh my gosh, Serbia, Dusha Zlato, my queen, she performed Jano, her, you know, biggest hit, uh, which is like everywhere in, in TikTok and Spotify and Instagram. And of course, Ramonda, uh, who has Musti, Musti, Musti. Um, you know, he has that energy, he has that power, that, that I don't know, that emotion. I love that. Every time he goes so on the stage, he takes off his his clothes and then sings with you know with the with the what was it with the glitter outfit. I absolutely love that. So yeah, Barcelona was amazing. I cannot wait for London. I'm so tired. By the way, I'm so sorry if I sound very you know like not okay. Uh, I arrived literally two hours ago. I slept only three hours, but. 
Love you too, Nikos An. Hey, oh Marina Sati, we love Marina Sati the best. Yes. So we have a special guest who's about to come. Ten years ago, she made history. Ten years ago, she won the Eurovision Song Contest. And in two minutes, she's going to be here to discuss she is all of that. We're going to need social media. We're going to need Deb and Ready for the afterwards. And we're going to need to slay. All right, questions for Conchita. This is what we need. Whoops! Ah. Let's not break the live stream. We're not going to break the live stream. Oh, we look amazing. Can we take a selfie? We do look amazing. Oh, my goodness. She's staying. Where's Freddy, by the way? I want to know. He is in the hotel. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh, Megara. Megara is here. Devin can do them first, yeah? yeah. And then I'll, I'll work yep. with Kinshida. So you guys, Devin's going to inter... You're going to interview Megara first. You go first, honey. You go first. You go first. Because Kinshida... Hey, hey, I need to give you a hug. Kinshida's coming, so we're going to do the live stream. So I need you to interview Megara if you can. Thank you so much. Hey, honey, come give me a hug quickly. Conchita's on her way, but please join us for now. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Have a seat. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Is Freddie okay, by the way? What's yes, happening? Yes, he's good. Oh, okay. He's Wonderful. Good. So I'm taking a break, then we're going to shift Oh, off. fantastic. And so then, then he'll yeah. be on his way. That is oh, beautiful news. Cable, so. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, you are live. There are a thousand people mm -hmm. watching. I just want to shout out to you. You have been through so much, but you mm. keep slaying. It is absolutely no. gorgeous. Thank you for joining us. We are so happy to mm -hmm. see you. Now, who is your favorite of Eurovision 2024? So, I really love Ukraine. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and Denmark is one that was on my radar until Madrid. But then, since Madrid, I really love Denmark. And I feel like, do, do you ever feel like speaking to the artist unlocks new sort of layers? It's hard to separate the personal and then sort of the prediction. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. how you think a song will do and what you think of, yeah, mm. it's tough. Yeah. Italy. Oh, Italy's incredible. Yeah. And the more I think about it, the more I think Italy could really win. Yeah. I just feel like she's got some kind of stage presence. Yeah. Would you like a cupcake, honey? Ooh, Please, you, you must eat. You've been so oh, busy. Wow. Here you go. Final one. Shout out to beautiful Rick. And Conchita is here, so thank you so much, Katie. We're going to see you yes. in a bit. See you soon. The queen has <laughs> arrived. That is versed. Conchita versed Eurovision 2014. I am scooting over, honey. Oh my goodness. Nice to see you. 10 years of slay. Don't say that. <laughs> ten it's years ten. of slay. Oh, I love it's the just, ring light. Hello, everyone. Look how good you look. You know, we have the same birthday. 6th November. No. Yeah, we're both Scorpios. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> that's obvious. There's no sting in this tail, No, though. listen, yeah. listen. We just use it if we have to. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. It's really hectic. It's mad. Of course. It's absolutely mad. But the fact that you're here makes it feel real. Oh. Yes, it's true. Now, let me ask you a question. So, is the, the other people are online? Yeah, there are more than a thousand people here right now. 1033. I sound like an old woman. <laughs> so, the people, are they online? They're in the box. So oh my see, god! Right in there. <laughs> oh, stupid. oh god! IVF in vitro fertilization says you look good, hon. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's William Springlight, <laughs> Queen of Drags. Queen yeah. of Drags. What's it like to judge or to have judged other drag queens? I love judging people. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's um. Well, listen. You, you, you want to be as authentic as you can, and you comment on the things you see and you understand mm -hmm. if that makes sense you know yeah. I can only give advice when I see something that I did wrong in the past okay and then I would talk on that so if you say someone looks horrific bad nails bad brows then I've been there yeah. <laughs> then this is this, this is what it means I've been there I love the honesty I don't believe it though you're too beautiful <laughs> Now, 10 years on though, this is a big year for you. Yeah. What does it mean to you? It's insane. I mean, first of all, how can it be 10 years? That's yeah. crazy, no? And it's still as intense as it used to be when I rewatch it and when I talk about it. It's been such, I mean, I don't want to say it's been because it still is, but don't you feel back in the day, like 10 years ago, it was such a moment for the queer community, like yeah. with being um, drag race becoming so popular 
than me winning. I feel it was really the start of, of being queer in the mainstream. Yeah. Pop culture, whatnot. And I feel we had such, we, we are having such a good time in terms of visibility and stuff. But on the other hand, it's just devastating what is going on. Mm. So I feel like we need, we need the song contest more than ever. It always has been a project of freedom and coming together, also with different opinions. And, and being in one room and you know having a good time even though you might not agree with the person yeah. sitting next to you so I feel that's such a great example for a working society and yeah we have to you know we really have to raise our voices we have to vote people yeah. this is so important oh god and yes and here we are talking politics again but you know what was interesting 2014 you were like part of the change right because it was the first time so many people around the world had seen a bearded drag queen and that had a message, right? It was like, you can be whatever you want. You can yeah. look however you want. And back then it was daring and dangerous even. Like I all sometimes worried for your safety actually. We met in Vauxhall at the club, Royal Vauxhall Tavern. And I just remember thinking, it takes bravery to do what you're doing in 2014. Did you ever feel scared at the time? No. You didn't. Am I so delusional? <laughs> I don't know. I never felt that I that I'm like doing something dangerous. I always thought people would turn up or not you know mm. what I mean it's never like thankfully and I'm very yeah. privileged in that I never really experienced pe people being aggressive towards me mm. so I never had to I never felt that I'm very courageous doing what I do well you are brave first means bravery <laughs> <laughs> apparently <laughs> <laughs> now, this year, Eurovision 2024 is pretty wide open. There are lots of songs that are contending for the win. Do you, as an expert, have any thoughts on who might win? Well, I do. I do. You can I be honest. Do. It's a safe space. It's a safe space. You just want to hear me say, well, listen, I feel that I always love when a new class is arriving. No? Mm. I always feel like the older I get, the more I feel like mother. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, no, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Nemo, huge fan of Bambi, oh. um, so many great vocalists this year. We're serving non-binary realness in 2024, Amazing. it's incredible. I love it, I love it. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. But I can't, yeah, that's, I already, kind of already said it. Now, <laughs> Verse was reborn, of course, Verse was reborn, you rebranded, released new music that was darker, sexier, edgier. What's next? What's the next stage in your evolution? You're such a great journalist. It's incredible. <laughs> the things, then you do the transition, and while I'm talking, you're already thinking about the next question. So I got all these wrinkles, but girl. But you still look like... at me, and you still like <laughs> concentrate. Whatever, sorry. Um, so the next thing, I'm, I'm a serious theater actress now. Ah. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm in a play, and I, I, I do acting, so I enjoy it very much. I'm recording new music currently. Ooh. So that's also very nice. I kind of go back to my roots. Okay. Big back. Ballad. Oh wow, Shirley yeah. Bassey. Yes, 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 yes. Now we need to break this down. Let's yeah. start with the theater. What's yeah. the production? What's your role? Well, I'm I'm playing the lead. So I play the the youngest brother of our former emperor. Oh wow! And he was one. Of, well, he was in the queer community, and there were not so many things about. There are not so many things known about him because. He wanted his diaries to be burned after his death, so she was a clever one. <laughs> and there are like rumors and little bits and pieces, but not like a whole cohesive story when with other members of royal families, you know, everything is documented. So we created this almost a dream sequence of a possible life he lived. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm playing him from a little child to an old man. Oh, my God. Yes. Does the ghost ever appear to you at night? Yes. Say, what you doing in my story? Yeah, she does. <laughs> um, her name is Ludwig Victor, and yeah, I love I love playing him, and I, I enjoy acting a lot. And mm. yeah, I don't know what what they will come in the future. It's very interesting for Austrians. Do you think they're able to separate Conchita the star with Conchita as Leopold? They do. Well, most of them. I think that many of them expected it to be like somewhat of a drag show. Oh. And when they come, they realize, okay, there is no bearded woman no. on stage. But it's still a very, very great play. And um, yes, I mean, I get the question a lot: Is it now Tom or Conchita? Or, ah. But whatever. I'm always happy to answer. 
Because Conchita is a spirit, an aura, a feeling. Yeah, and also, freedom. and also, well, yeah. So this is always within me. In that sense, it's always within me. But I think I, I kind of separate it, and it's very. Um, I don't know. I kind of separate them visually <laughs> because once I have the wig on, I'm Conchita, and you know, yeah. Then I'm not, and then I feel more like Tom. Yeah. I'm sorry. The reason I'm laughing is earlier someone was sitting here and they had a really long nose hair, and you don't. <laughs> I just think I hope I don't. No, you're perfectly groomed, oh, and I'm like, thank you because I can focus rather than thinking about the braiding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I won't say who it was. In any case, the new music is coming. And obviously, all of you Eurovision fans, the new fans after Eurovision, are going to stream and download. Do we have a working title? <gasps> William. You always... Oh, my God. You always want to... Pulling down the zipper just a little and hoping for the best. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I can't. I, okay. Well, I, I will say that. A Eurovision alumni is uh, involved in Ooh, songwriting. You're, oh wow! Yeah, and going back to your roots, big ballads. Yeah, Shirley Bassey, 1920s. Selena from Austria. Who is Edgar? <laughs> Celine Dion <laughs> herself. No. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> no. Incredible. Well, yeah. we will watch this space. Yeah. Now, in terms of reality TV, you were recently helping the Germans choose their act. You had the Ischville Zoom ASA. Yes. How oh, was that? Oh, thank you. Vielen Dank. Of course. Für Jai, Ara, ich habe Deutsch gelernt nach meiner Gymnasium. Aber jetzt, ich habe alles vergessen. No, I apparently did not. Du bist für mich nicht, ich bin für dich nicht. Das Spiel ist aus. <laughs> She brings out this energy. <laughs> but sorry, each will be a CMT. How was it? It was it was a lot of fun and I had my candidates, I love them so much. I know you know e. Anne. Incredible. Anne e. Yeah, love she her. is she's Eurovision royalty. Oh. And we created this lovely song for her. The Yellow Brick Road. The Yellow Brick Road. And I think it fit her so perfectly and she loved to sing it and whatnot. And if you're there, we love you so much. Big love. Big love. And then with Luca, what an incredible voice, what an incredible song. So yeah, it was it was a lovely experience. Oh. Do you feel I don't want to say a responsibility, but is it an honor to sort of teach the next generation what it takes? Of course, I love to um, work with creative people. I love to bring out something in them they maybe are not comfortable enough, yeah. you know, stepping into or not even seeing. This is similar to what, what we said before with the, with the judging. Mm. If, I, if I sense something in you, I want to work with you and then I, I try to bring out what I see uh -huh. and hopefully on that way they find out something about themselves. Do you ever have to be harsh? Do you have, I'm not talking about Germany ESC, yeah. like in drag shows, like maybe a different career path might work. What do you mean? Like, you shouldn't be a drag queen, you should be an accountant. <laughs> oh no, no I don't do that. I respect the decisions people make because I always, mm. I also feel like it, it then will come naturally if you continue on doing what you do or don't. Uh, yeah. So I, 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 I would keep, I would, you know, stick with, with, uh, with the briefing. From Leopold royalty to diplomat extraordinaire, <laughs> that is the Conchita way. I just realized that's the wrong screen. This is the screen we're on. Ooh, that makes I life so it. much easier. Now, there are questions coming in for you. Zara Elson says, Conchita looks stunning. Asked if she would ever enter the contest again. So, so, <laughs> I, when Loreen decided to go a second round, I was like, I would never do that. I would never, never, never do that. I'm in the Hall of Fame. I would never do mm. that. Whatever. And then, like, I have to be completely honest. I have a little bit of FOMO. Okay. I have a little bit of FOMO. Fear of missing Fear out of if missing you're not a native out. English speaker. I'm so sorry. And I feel like if I got the right song, maybe. Well, y'all need to write her the right song. <laughs> Because we would love to see Verst back in action. I want this edgy, raw Verst, right? Mm. You know, I don't want the Verst cooked in the pan. I want it raw. No, no, no. Like a horse to water. Firestorm. That's, I'm sorry, that's the best song of all time. <laughs> really? You yeah, I love that song. Like a horse to water. You better drink. Okay, well, yeah. I'm, I'm drinking. Oh, the I'm thirst drinking. is real. <laughs> Now look, I don't want to take all your time because I know that this whole room wants a piece of the verse. So this is a generic question we always ask everyone. But verse is a thinker. 
What's your final message for people in these toxic times online, about you and everybody? What do you want them to remember? Well, take an example by the Eurovision community. I feel like it is a great example for a working society. We come together with different opinions, have a ball, disagree, agree to disagree, but we do it peacefully and in respect. And this is what I would love our society to work as a whole, because I think, you know, this is for me the only way to go. Leopold would be proud. We are proud of you. Conchita Verse, Eurovision 2014 winner. Thank you so much. Honestly, just incredible. Where is you've disappeared? The waste is like, we're going to get some tips what? after this live stream. Let's take a picture before you go. Living for this. Magara is there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh wow, love you so much. Thank you as always. <laughs> Be Linda. <laughs> That's the best time. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Good luck tonight. Not that you need it. <laughs> that was versed. Incredible. <laughs> we are being billed, y'all, for the lights behind us. That was Conchita. Simply amazing. Hello. Norway. Oh, my goodness. Good to are here. We are ready when they are. Absolutely. You take your time. I will be here. Tuesday and Tuesday talk for in the Yacht Fantastic Show. We love Goethe from, not Denmark, Norway. I'm so dehydrated. Forgive me. The dehydration is real. I'm going to press accept on this social media. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Where is, where is, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. You guys, I am just going to check with Sinan quickly about what is happening. Sinan, my love. Oh, Sinan, my love. Sorry, things are so hectic in this room. Good to are there. My God. Honey, can you come here for one second? Love you so much. We're going to be right back. This is a two second pause. My love. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. Call the police. Absolutely. Jacqueline is here. We are calling the police. The police, Jacqueline. And then we'll do go to after Jacqueline. So don't you worry. They are coming. Call the police. She just stole my heart. So effortless. So effortless. You look incredible. Let me get you on this camera. There you are. I'm not calling the police. No fashion police here. Nice to see you, gorgeous. First of all, congratulations on an incredible Melody Festival. And I'm gonna move this closer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How has your life changed since Mello? Um, I mean, my schedule is busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, um, a lot has changed. I can believe it. Is it a lot to take in when everyone wants a piece? Um, yeah, but I'm kind of grounded. I'm just, you know, yeah, I'm grounded. Yeah. And you've got a beach so good, you could eat it with a spoon. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is perhaps the most streamed song on my Spotify from Mellow this year. I'm not even kidding you. It's, a lot of people must tell you that. Yeah, I've heard it. Yeah. yeah. I'm so grateful. I mean, what? The song has made me, you know, come here. Yeah. And we hope that you'll be back at Melody Festival. I don't really have time to get more. That was a yes. We saw it in your eyes. That was a yes. Now, what about in Sweden? How are Swedes approaching you now? Is there more hype? Um, Swedes are very, like, they're not saying too much. They're maybe more, Reserved. like, looking. Yeah, like, looking extra. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not a lot of people are, like, walking the biggest coming out. Maybe, yeah, some people are, but... And I've got to say, your hair is very different. I mean, yeah. What? Different. So what was the um, usual Jacqueline? Is Jacqueline normally the braids, or is she normally the mellow hair? The, normally, she's just natural afro, but um, I, I like to change my hair style. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. Thank you. You look good. It feels... You are good. You are just... The texture expensive. Now, the next song, the follow-up to Melody Festival. Oh, damn. When's it coming? Um, I don't know. Maybe um, in August? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. August. I hope so. Now, oh, yeah. Now it's just you know what? Too much. Now I'm calling the police. I need it in July. I need it in June. I know, I know. Oh. Now, I've got to say, Marcus and Martinez, great representatives for yeah. Sweden. What was your opinion? Um, I mean, they're incredible. They are so talented at what they do, and um, they just 
deserve this. Oh, but Jacqueline, you deserve the world. Tonight you'll be singing effortlessly. Can you please tell us, when you sing it now, does it feel different than when you sang it before Melody Festival? Um, yes, it does. I mean, I'm more comfortable in it. I'm, I'm used to it more, so I can try different things when I'm singing it. And, yeah, it's, it's nice. Oh, and I'm going to get this selfie because we have a ring light, so why waste it? <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I love that. Jacqueline, thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Wishing you so much success. I mean, but you're already successful, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Thank you again. Tools and tools and talk. That was Jacqueline. Hey, do honey. She is incredible. Star for a new generation of Swedes. That is Jacqueline. Effortlessly. She did the interview effortlessly, hunty. Now, oh, who is this? Devin Adarimi, who is this? We, we have some rockers in the house. My eyes are very bad. Oh no, that, oh, sorry, that was Conchita from behind. I did not recognize Conchita from behind because the silhouette was so unique. Now, who will be on the live stream next? Good to we're waiting, but they have disappeared. So we are going to have a look. Dawn's has entered the room. Hello, gorgeous. So much fashion in this room right now. Sinan Hunty, who shall we lasso over? Which star should we lasso over? Yeah, the stream is empty, so if you could find someone, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Gutta, we're going to come, but then we had a bit of a traffic jam. Uh, Gutta from Norway. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, yeah, hi, Daniel. You guys, there's a lot going on up in here. So, we are going to look for your questions. Do you think... What is this? Whoops, sorry. There was a question about Monoskin, which disappeared. I think Monoskin have done incredibly well, cracking the U.S., cracking you know so many markets um yeah they experiment i think some you know whether you like their songs or not they're on a journey right and they're doing so well and i wish them all the best now just so you know in the room right now germany's walking around latvia is here norway is here everyone is mid-interview so we're having a bit of a pause yes Don's is over here to my left Devin is in line georgia has not yet appeared Tom Hendrick, star of Ted Lasso. Please, honey, come sit. Now, Tom, of course, was the goalkeeper in Ted Lasso, which I love to reference whenever I can. Incredible role. You did it so well. You did Thank it so well. Thank you very well. much. Well, I've got some breaking news. We're going to be speaking to Gota next. Gota are, Gota coming, are next. coming next. Fantastic. I was just asking who is next. Who is next and, is Gota. And that means Devin will interview Don's next. So don't worry, Hunty, you've got Don's next. I'll do Gota. Love you so much. The, Talk about the egg. He loves oh, yeah. the egg. He, he mimics egg. himself as an egg because he's bald. So right. get that tea, honey. Tea goes with eggs. Right. I am going to get Gotta or now. Poach. Thank I'm you get Gotta so for you. much. No you guys, this is a real team effort today. I've got my Ola and Steen. It's Danish, but hey, Scandinavia, close enough. The Norwegian act is en route. They are looking good. We're going to get our Nordic goat herder voice over here, giving us Nordic goat herder realness. We cannot wait. Oh, you guys, I'm so dehydrated. So, how many people... Oh, thanks, baby girl. Will Gustav come on your live stream? So, he was in sound check. I don't see him at the moment, but I will alert you. Baby Lasagna is scheduled to come, so do not worry. What do I think about Nutza? Nutza is a firefighter. Nutza is incredible. I love that she gives us an ethnic song with dance vibes. I love the energy. William, were you in heaven last night? Lyndon ESC, I was not. I was at home. I bought a new sofa recently, and I was breaking it in, y'all, because my cats were refusing to sit on the new sofa because it was like scented like Ikea as opposed to like my house so anyway I had laundry on the sofa but now my cats are very happy the kitties always come first in my household what do you think about y'all y'all love Nutsa and so do I people love Nutsa I love Nutsa and I also love Gutta Gutta are over there they will be moving here any moment is Bambi coming so Bambi was meant to be here at 2 30 sadly that has passed but we will see it's again because of the sound check delay Things are a little stressful. B Bitch T12, thank you so much for reading my book. That is so kind of you. I will happily autograph that next week in Amsterdam. Thank you for your support. That's very kind. What is your favorite song from this year? 
There's so many good songs this year. Baby Lasagna, Nemo from Switzerland, Bambi Thug. I, you know, basically everyone you've just named, Nutsa. I could go on in. I mean, there's so many great songs this year. But look, it all comes down to staging. That will decide who wins, who slays, and who is slayed, hunty. When is Angelina going to show? Thank you so much, Mike's to Graham Zero. That one pound ninety nine will very much help us pay the server and keep things running. You are incredible. Windows ninety five man was meant to come for an interview, but we had a lot of flight issues this morning, delays, cancellations, and so the sound checks are running one hour late. Because of the one hour delay, things are very very hectic right now. Will, what do you think about Luxembourg? I think the song is actually very good. I really, oh, it's Steve Rosenberg, hunty. Oh my God, I love Steve Rosenberg on his piano, yes. Oh my goodness. Yo, I can, it's so difficult to focus in here. I wish Australia attended the pre-party. So they will be, oh, are they not? Oh no, they're not here. <laughs> I am so tired. Don's is here with Devin right now. And Guta are stuck in an interview, but they are on their way. Angelina Mango is around. She's just not physically in the building right now. Who is the biggest mother this year? And why is it Hera? I think Hera is literally a mother, isn't she? And Goethe are coming. Goethe are coming. I'm going to stop talking. They are here. It's time for Goethe. They are sitting down. Oh, my goodness. Welcome. Hello. 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 There you are. Nice hey. To nice to meet you again. Oh, Hello. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Please, you get in here, girl. Have a seat. And we'll have some folks stand okay, as well. Okay, guys. Yeah, that? get come behind, please. Yeah, yeah, Let's in. all get in here. There are 1,000 people here waiting for you. Whoopsie. Here oh, wow. we go. Oh, my goodness. Wrong screen. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You have been all over the place. Barcelona, Madrid on tape. Now London. What's it been like <laughs> meeting Eurovision fans? It's been Okay, can Fantastic. we? Okay, like that. Let, yeah. Let's do the scenery yeah. first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do oh, perfect. There we have it. Okay, okay. Beautiful. Fire away. <laughs> so, what's it been like meeting Eurovision fans? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's the best crowd ever because in Eurovision, you know, everybody's just, we're just doing this. Uh, someone is in front of the camera, someone is behind, someone is press, <laughs> someone is like arrangers. But we all know we're just same, we're just, just playing different roles in the same party. So, we come here, we change like superstars I mean okay we could be like superstars but we're all in this together right correction you are superstars <laughs> yeah but you are a superstar no. too people know your lyrics and they're in like old Norwegian that's incredible that's yeah. incredible that's actually very that incredible. is incredible yeah like did y'all yeah. even could you speak old Norwegian before this year or is it a new skill well, well I am um, uh, I've always been singing in this uh, this Norwegian old Norwegian language. So mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 I don't speak it, but I I sing it. <laughs> and, it and it's been our band's project all the time. Just take these uh, gems from our from our cultural past and bring it into like contemporary times. And most Norwegians do not understand what she is singing in this ah. song. Yeah. Gosh, you're educating the whole country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you can, you can yeah. say that. <laughs> now, I want to talk about goat herding because we read on weebyblogs.com that when you were a child, you learned a technique that's common in goat herding. Is that correct? Herding, yeah. Calling yeah, or calling herding. and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I, I, I learned to do something that's called kveing. Kveing? Uh, yeah, and kveing, that's the style of singing. Yeah. And also the herding or calling is a part of uh, the tradition. Yeah. Could, you, could you give us an example of kveing, a short one? Yeah. I like to say that you just you put jewelries on the nose, so it's just like automatic with the Look at all those goats coming over here! Oh my god! That was not for the goats. No, no. That that's another one. That was king. That was king. I have thin walls in my apartment. My neighbor was making those noises last night. <laughs> it was awful. Now, listen, when you first started doing that, were people like, what is she doing? Or was it just accepted, this is art? Um, like when I was a child, yeah. I mean, uh, it was not accepted. <laughs> it was not cool. It was not cool. No. So, no. Huh. Did, I guess, how did you then keep going? How did you persevere? 
Well, we started in 2000. She was 15 years old. I was 17, and we got this huge success. We won the Norwegian Grammys, and we toured like played hundreds of concerts in a few years' time. So we were like superstars in Norway, and no one could grasp or believe how could they become popular with this strange mix of Norwegian folk music and, and rock and electronic elements, right? Because we were like we were top of the charts then. But we were exhausted. She lost her whole like juvenile time, you know. She, so she called it quits in 2005, and then we started in 2017. Then we have matured. We are grounded. We have kids, all that kind of stuff. And now we're just here to really appreciate the experience of creating, playing music, and that experience is as much a audience's to the audience's credit as ours. Mm. And then coming into the Eurovision community now with this song, with this strong emotion and having this resonance with all these beautiful people that also, I mean, it's so, it's so diverse. It's been, we always heard this word of like diversity in Eurovision, but now we feel it and we meet the actual people and uh, it's like coming home. I want you to do a TED talk. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was good. Now, those 12 years you were apart, 2005 to 2017, did you think you would get back or did you think it was done? I, I thought it was done, actually. Yeah. 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 What was that moment? Did you miss each other? Did you, like, how did the energy bring you back? I think I was the one of, I was calling you and this should be because I met a point of in my life that I was like, hmm, what, what am I really good at? <laughs> what do I really, really, uh, where can I really be um, what I'm good at? And uh, that was that. Yeah. I think. That, yeah. That's where I could use all my... Who, who I am and yeah. my and, and, uh, and that is that is actually quite condensed in, <laughs> and distilled in this song because when we participated uh, we were asked by the broadcaster to participate we were like okay then we should do this properly and we had this song already which has this really really strong emotion but it's like it's like like what she's doing in the chorus, only you can sing it in that way. Neither of us can. And it's like, well, that's not the Eurovision typical sing-along song. Well, that doesn't matter. Because the emotion was so, so strong. And we're really proud that the Norwegian people voted for us and wanted this, you know, this timeless uh, spirit that we uh, channel to represent Norway. And not only represent Norway, but share it with all of Europe and then experience how that plays out and meet the other artists as well. You know, I want to ask you about your energy because on stage you're spinning like a figure skater all over the, in the <laughs> air and acrobat and you, it's like you're possessed, right? Your body is doing all of this. Does it take something out of you when you're on tour to give that much all the time? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> But then again, it's really about opening up and letting something bigger do do the work. Yeah. Mm. But it takes a lot of awareness and and uh, and uh, sincerity to be able to open up in that sense. And I'm always very tired after yeah. concerts. I have never I never mm. understood the people that like I, I can I can go to sleep after concerts because I'm so high. I'm like more like oh. <laughs> I just <laughs> just something is just. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like, in a way, giving birth oh, on wow. stage, and yeah. after giving birth, you don't want to. You just go, want to go to sleep. Go, you're <laughs> giving us life. You are giving us life. You know, you know our our uh, costume designer for the show. She's she described our music as. Oh, when I hear that song, I just want to rip off my clothes, go into the woods, and give birth. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and that actually is it's primal. Quite, it is. Yeah. It, well, this leads to my next question, actually. And I say this in all seriousness. This ancient tradition, you know, that inspired the music. When you're in nature, I don't know if you ever sing outside, do you feel some kind of connection to ancient Norway? To, like, the Vikings? To before? I think that nature is just very important for our... For Norwegians. Mm. We are... Uh, that's a huge part of our daily life, actually. So... Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. In Norway, we have... A tremendous amount of space of nature of mountains so every person in Norway can experience like solitude and being in silent nature because we don't have these dense big cities there are lots of space and that is a huge resource and a luxury to sort of be able to 
yeah, tap into some of the more delicate and sublime layers of uh, existence. Now, a lot of people are asking in the questions about your staging for Eurovision. People want to know, will it be the same as that Melody Grand Prix? Will you amp it up? What can you share? Amp it up, uh, yes, but we will keep the main core, main, uh, the ID. Uh, is, is, I, we are very proud of how it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Gunnel, some, some changes, maybe. Some change. Well, it's like Gunnel, she is in the center of a storm. She starts, she starts in total confinement with a laser, mm. then that rips open, and then starts unleashing the powers of nature because we have the wind. We have the actual physical project when she's turning around, right? And that in itself is, is, uh, is a lot of what is making the, the, this act so powerful because she has a physical project, she has to find a balance. It's more difficult to sing, sing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's not making it easier to to, to, to do the singing perfectly no. uh, when I'm spinning around. Oh but it goodness. makes like it gives me a lot of uh, uh, it's a, a real fight. It's a yeah. real project on stage there. That's the something else. Yeah. That's Ooh. not about singing it correctly. If you know what I mean. I see. So the moving platform does it cause balance issues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah muscles yeah. change. Definitely. Ah. I, oh, <laughs> yeah. And then there is no time to be in your head thinking, oh, I need to sing perfectly or hit that note, because she has to be physically right. aware and present in her body. Ah. And that creates a sort of presence that I really feel is unique and makes the act stand out. It's really interesting. Earlier you mentioned birth, <clears throat> and I do wonder hearing you talk, because you are, of course, a mother. Does singing this song remind you of giving birth, like physically? Yes. Wow. Wow, yes. that's a huge release. Wow, <laughs> do you get endorphins and stuff? In the, what? Like yeah, endorphins, the the serotonin, hormone, and oh, oxytocin. <laughs> yeah, <it's> the, um, <laughs> you're yes. gonna bond with the audience and mother them all. Yes, yes. But, well, it feels that it's something. It's not coming from me. It's mm. something coming through me, and it's feeling. It's, it feels very powerful, and I'm very. Really, um, that's why I think that I'm, I'm always so tired after doing it because it's just, uh, yeah, it's a. Could I say uh, it, it feels like sometimes it's, I'm, I'm connecting with something. It's very hard to put, and, and I don't know if I want to put words on it. Actually, it's just, uh, yeah. Would you like a cupcake? I just feel like you are so tired because of all these performances. It's it's fresh. It was in this box five minutes wow. ago. This is for beautiful Gunhild. You get oh. that energy, girl. La La La, Spain, 1968. Now, I don't want to hug you because there are other people in the room, but I do have a final question for you. All right. When people see you perform tonight, this audience in London, sold out, what do you want them to take away from Norway's good to Eurovision 2024? I want them to say, as our costume uh, designer, <laughs> designer said, said, I want to go out in the woods and bake. Big, uh, <laughs> we want we want them to. <laughs> what is, we what just, I'm trying to say is, yeah, is while well, you eat, you can eat the cupcake. <gasps> you you deserve. What it. she wants to say, she wants to, every member of the audience to after the show take off the clothes go into the woods <laughs> yes. and give birth i'm ready yes. yeah. this is a group <laughs> exercise y'all let's go they are good to norway eurovision 2024 twos and twos and talk for india fantastic show we love you so much thank you we love you yeah, too you're so fun <laughs> tron time 2025 <laughs> absolutely yeah. there's a tra tradition for that you know bobby socks ah. were in uh, gothenburg 85 took it home to norway Okay. In 86, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. Big tradition Goodness. for that. Not Stavanger. <laughs> <laughs> Not Stavanger. Sorry, Bergen. <laughs> awesome, brilliant. You guys are the best. Thank you so You're much. Oh, wait, let's take a photo before you go. Yeah. yeah. Sinan, honey, can we get a photo? Love you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh -uh. One more. <laughs> the joy is real. Thank you. Wow. And you just, I hope that's okay. Not too much sugar. I hope it's, it's okay. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Mm. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Would you I like? I think. I oh, I don't have any more. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. No, no, no. Oh. She's the one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Enjoy tonight, you guys. And thank yeah. you so thank much. Thank you for having us. No, thank you for you're coming. You're very, uh, yeah, pleasure. you're very fun to be so with. Real yeah. pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. They are Norway. If you want them in the final, you got to vote, y'all. Your vote matters. That was Gunhild comparing her song to giving birth. Hello, Tom. Sylvester Belt is entering the building. Sylvester Belt is in, Sylvester Belt is entering the building, but Isaac, I believe, is next. Germany on the is coming. Germany Give is coming us right Germany. now. Always the on the run, and he is here for some fun. We are switching gears from Norway to Germany. You guys, I am absolutely exhausted. I have not stopped talking for 98 minutes. Call the police. I am committing verbal crimes. But you know what? Norway was so lovely. I think with Norway, you get a real sense of nature, of beauty, something organic, something of the earth, but for the people. He is always on the run, our friend Isaac from Germany. And he is going to run, but he is going to sit. And I see him approaching. Here he comes. Deutschland has Isaac. arrived. Hello, Deutschland. Hi. Let me move this. There you uh, are. How are you doing? So good. But the real question is, how are you doing? I'm doing very good. I love the weather here in London. <laughs> You're uh, the first person to say that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun is shining. What's the matter? We never get it. So it opened up for you, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy good. I, I love it here. I, I've been I've been in London two years ago and we had the same weather and I loved oh, it wow. as well. Were you on holiday? Were you singing? No, I, I some some mix of both. Okay. I mean, I was writing songs here, but we also did a little bit of holiday. Oh, great. Mm. Now, your song, Always on the Run. What are you running from and what are you running to? Uh, I'm running from um, the problems I never solve. Mm. And I'm running to salvation and to to fun things actually like I'm always I'm always running from from all the the pressure and the, the problems and the struggle in life uh, with doing things that I love and that are important as well but you know it, it doesn't solve the problems but the problems get bigger and bigger but the fun thing uh, that is also important and that I'm building up is also like getting bigger and bigger. Mm. So you got two yin and yang things yeah. that are coming together and you have to, to try to keep the balance somehow. Ah, it's a good way to deal with your problems. Run, but towards something positive. Yeah. Now, for people who are out there who may be experiencing negative things, what advice do you have? Like, what's the best way to run? I don't know. I don't think I'm the best guy to give advice on that thing because I'm still in that struggle. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, honesty. I, the first I, I couldn't solve it yet, so I don't know. Just, just keep trying. I don't know. Now you have this huge voice. I mean, this voice is like bigger than Germany. Thank when, you. <laughs> really? When did you discover it? Mm. I, th there wasn't a time where I started singing. It was just always a part of my life. I grew up in a very, in a very musical family, and uh, everyone was playing instruments and stuff like that. I grew up in, in a Christian family, and um, we were also like my, my my father was was a worship leader in the oh, in, wow. in the church. So I I have been on stage when I was I don't know something between five and eight eight years old playing the drums or singing on stage it wasn't good at all <laughs> but you know I did it and it was always fun and um, I started busking when I was 12 years old oh my gosh yeah and that I think that was the moment where I realized okay I want to do that my whole life no matter what now busking people can be cruel <laughs> to buskers like mm. it's a hard gig yeah. what was it like was it always positive or something no was it no effing way I mean I had a lot I mean, I had a lot of fun things. Some, I just remember I was busking in Minden in my hometown and a guy came over and he was like, do you like singing? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he was like, yeah, then just learn it. Oh, <laughs> but that was fun, you know? But when you're 12, that's were, me. Yeah, I mean, I think I was like 15 or 16 okay. years old in that moment and I could deal with that. <clears throat> but there were like different situations, difficult situations where people came over and they were like, uh, do you want me to put your guitar in, in your asshole? Then keep singing. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. extreme. Yeah. That's <laughs> extreme. And he, he, was, he looked very dangerous. He was like <laughs> two, two meters tall and he had like, he, he was bald and he's, he had some scars on his head and it was like, oh wow. And I was like, Woo. I was really, 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 I was far too scared. Yeah. Far too scared. Mm -hmm. But I was like, like trying to, like there were a lot of people around me listening to my music and I was like, I, I, I can't just now take my stuff and go away from you. Mm. I have to say something. Yeah. And then I was trying to be as brave as possible. And I was like, you could have said that a little bit more nicer. Yes, was, <laughs> yes. that's what you do. And I thought he, he would come down and, and beat the shit out of me. Mm. But uh, then he was like, no, I can't. And then the people around me, they were like, "Yes, you can." And then, oh. they, you know, it was it was it was a it was a gang fight yeah. in that moment. And that's when I realized uh, it's always good to be to to stand for whatever you do. And uh, I learned a lot about doing busking stuff. It's like crazy, crazy good lessons. But you know what? Then there was a change, and you did get embraced and celebrated in mm -hmm. Germany. Tell us about the first time on a big stage you got accepted. Um, the first time on a big stage I got accepted, I think the first time was in 2011, I was a part of uh, X Factor in Germany, that was the first moment and it was also like a very good lesson because for a few months I was like the, the local VIP. Yeah. You know? <laughs> And I thought, okay, that's my life now. And it's always gonna be like that. And it was a great hype, but I fell down. And that was crazy good for me because I was still living at my parents' house. And uh, I had my family around me and they were, they were carrying me. So I didn't fell that deep. And I, I learned that, that life is always about hypes and, and ups and downs and everything in between. After you won Das Deutsche Finale, yeah. you were very emotional on Instagram. It was very touching. What was it like for you in the day after that? Um, to be honest, terrible. It's like, oh. I don't know, your, my brain wasn't really functional. Mm. I was like, I had to do some interviews and I wasn't really empathetic, you know? I was okay. like, I was like, I was just somehow not really human. I, don't, I, I can't really explain. I was so, you know, all the stress fell off and there was so much pressure to that event. And all of that, all of a sudden, it, it all was over for that moment. And my brain had to, to I don't know, to, to reset or something. And it took me two or three days. And then I started to realize and I started to, to breathe again and to, to function as a normal human being. Mm. And uh, after that, I had a lot of fun times, but like the first two or three days, they, they have been pretty hard. But the good times are here again. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, looking toward Malmo, will you change the staging? Yeah. Ooh, what can you tell us? Um, what can I tell you? There is gonna be a lot of fire. Fire? Fuego? I won't say nothing more. Okay, I won't wear hairspray. We don't want to be burned. <laughs> now, Isaac, final question for you, because the people want you. Yeah. When they see you on stage in Malama, what do you want them to take away from your song or remember? Um... I want the people to realize that everyone is good the way he or she is and you don't have to change anything about yourself to be able to love yourself and you don't have to, to, to work on you, you don't have to love yourself because you're working on yourself to be able to someday love yourself you have to love yourself in that moment no matter what you are no matter what you're wearing no matter who you are, just just the way you are. I feel like I should pay you for that life advice. That was like a psychiatrist or a therapist. 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep that. Thank you so yeah, much. So it was really lovely to meet you. Yeah, Thank I'm you same, so much, same. and you're I welcome. wish you so much luck. Thank you um, at Eurovision. Thank you Thank so much. You. Oh, he is Isaac from Germany, always on the run in the grand final, but performing in semi final as well. Two, one, two. I it's think. beer and wine. Yeah, you're two. I'm on May the seventh. Oh, one semi final one. I think those are the, the beer seven. drinking countries, and semi final two is the wine drinking <laughs> country. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Germany. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Thank we will you. take a phone Thank number for you. Yeah, sure, you absolutely. Oh, Lord. You know, I've been talking for about two hours. Thank you so much for doing the talking there. Three, two, one. Incredible. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Absolutely, I will. It'll be super fun. I will. See you then. <laughs> Thank you. That was Germany. Automatic qualifier. Performing in semi-final one, we believe. Absolutely lovely. It's interesting when you meet an artist, sometimes your perception of the song can change. And hearing his personal story, the meaning behind that, that was actually very emotional. <clears throat> and I love what he said. You're always running from something, but you're running to something. Now that is a message all of y'all can action. So don't be sad. Bottle, like, in, what's the word? Experience the sadness, but no better days are coming. Deb and Adarimi is making a lot of noise on the live stream over there. We've got Farouk from France taking photos. We've got Don's over here. There's a lot of action happening in this room. And I'm going to quickly catch my breath and enjoy that latte from Ola and Steen. Mm. Don's has entered the picture. Hello. Hello! So nice to see you! Finally! We've been Finally. communicating for so long! Where can, where can I put my turn on? Oh yeah! Here, please spit it in here! Please! This is <laughs> I'll sell this on eBay! How much can I get? Uh, Latvia! It's for one, you! <laughs> one cent! <laughs> okay! Now so, you wow, have been this... all over the place! You went to Barcelona! Yes! To Madrid! Yes! You're here in London! Yes! Are you exhausted? No, I'm happy. I'm like uh, living in the kind of. This is kind of a dream. Mm. Like you wake up and you're you're still loved. Yeah. Can, can you imagine that? I think you're more loved now, actually. <laughs> so, so, uh, so uh, I I don't want to wake up. <laughs> yeah, but but unfortunately, <laughs> that day is coming when you're waking up. Well, let's just say Europe is still what's the word? Dreaming of you. They love hearing you. What's the reception, or rather, what's it been like to feel the audience, the Eurovision audience, reacting to your song? You cannot uh, predict it. You can't imagine it before. But the, the, the love uh, and the, the, uh, how they embrace you from the very first day that you've been chosen, this is like in, in the Matrix. <laughs> you've been chosen. But, but, but this, is, this is incredible. I, I, I'm speechless. I, I still need to process it and put it in words to answer your question mm. properly. I need to like, think, of it, think about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me tell you what okay. we've seen. Okay. People get very emotional. There are a lot of people who say they re relate to the message. They understand feeling hollow. Do you understand your message even better now that you've performed the song so much? Yes, it gives it gives that extra push that you are in this in this moment of like for me for the whole story. I'm there more uh, with an audience together, mm -hmm. so so I can see the reaction. And they embrace it, and they, they, you know, whenever you tell the truth, it's the truth. Yeah. And uh, so, 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 I feel very humble and happy. And you're also very funny. This egg, okay. y'all seen the egg on Instagram, on TikTok. Yes. Was it Donzi? <laughs> the Donzi one. The, what does it mean? It's Donzi. Oh, Donzi. That's his name. That's his I name. I see yeah. D O N Z Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did it take time to accept your baldness? It took me, I think, what was it, two months? <laughs> but uh, Donzi is gonna release. He's gonna release the song as well. Ah, yes. But yes. if Donzi is hollow, there's no yoke. There, yes. What can he release? Yes, yes. That's what? that's the question. Is he hard boiled? And that's the question as well. You never know. You never know. You have to spin it. I to, see. To, to make sure. If it spins or not. You are an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Yes. Wrapped in a yoke, wrapped in a shell. Somewhere in between. 
<laughs> now, you of course used to live in London. Yes. You've written music here. You. Yeah. What's it like when you come back? Oh, I love it here. I mean, uh, I come here annually, like twice a year, uh, just to recharge my batteries as well. Because I have so many, so much memories of, I mean, good times where I wrote some songs, where I got the inspiration, and the, the, the long walks. I love walking and walking and walking and walking. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's amazing. I love it. Do you, what's the word, commune with nature? Are you very much into the environment? Well, you, you, you have to be. Mm. Otherwise, we're doomed, aren't we? Yeah, we, well, I think we are. Yes. <laughs> Sadly. Yes. And, uh, and in London, it's pretty hectic to ex escape, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so my, my favorite part, can you guess my favorite part? Ooh, I bet you Hampstead Heath. Try again. Kensington Park, Hyde Park. It's my second one. Ah. Battersea Park. Oh, Battersea. There's the Buddha. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, see? <laughs> you see yourself reflected. Yes. <laughs> Now, a lot of people, we have more than, oh goodness, there were 12, uh, 1,100 people. Wow, hello. And they've been asking about your staging and what we can expect. Oh, so yeah, as the song uh, is evolving, as well with an additional instruments. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Have we heard this version yet? Maybe some parts, okay. but uh, I think uh, you, can, you, you will hear it tonight. Ah, yes. So you tune in, uh, and uh, yeah, but I can't reveal secrets. But but the performance evolving as well as the song, as the story, and the performance. And as what I saw, I I cannot wait. I truly I cannot wait. I, re I really want to perform. I really want. Oh, fantastic! And all of Latvia wants to see you perform. You were already known, huge star before, but has the love in Latvia ballooned even more? Well, I, I, this is this is actually a great, I mean, experience that they are all wishing you like good luck. Oh, yeah. we, we, we will all, you know, cross fingers, and this is like, you know, help a brother out. Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> no help needed because the talent is so real. In terms of the look, though, on the stage, you mentioned evolution. Will you be in blue? This seems to be your signature color. Well, now I'm not in blue. Ah! Will I be? Or will I not? And that's a question from William. So, I have three options. Okay. Most of them are blue. Okay. It's a good color. It works. Yes. Well, that's my favorite one. It's nice. So I think it goes naturally because mm. of my color of my eyes. Oh, yes. Yes. So that's what they say. You, you know, the, the best color for you is the color of your eyes. Oh, wow. Okay. You didn't know that? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. But what I do Anna. know is Don is king of the Baltics. We loved having you here. We cannot wait to see you tonight. And the whole room wants you, so we're going to release your spirit. But yeah. do you have a final message for the 1,100 people who are wishing you well. VV Blogs, I love you. Thank you for recognizing my song. First, you were first, guys, and I really appreciate that. I love you from all my heart. Thank you. Oh, Maria, that's so kind. Thank you so and much. And keep on doing that, because if you give up, <laughs> then there's no hope. Oh, that is beautiful. You don't give up. That's so nice. Just keep on doing it. I see you exhausted as well. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. You can't tell, but hold on. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Oh fan we're taking a picture. Yes, we are it. taking a photo with that ring light. Let's do it. Three, two, and congratulations <laughs> on your book. Oh thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're Good. very kind. Great. Don's from Latvia. Woo! -hoo. Just incredible. Semi-final two? Semi-final two. Half. Second half, Y'all have nine. to vote. You number have nine. to vote for him in the final. Get him to the final. Help a brother out. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Thank well, you, Don. Nice enjoy. to see, see you. See you tonight. See you tonight. Yes. yes. Yeah. That is Don's from Latvia. Semi-final two again. Second half, number nine. Number you got to vote. Finland is here now. We're going to move from Latvia across the Baltic to Finland. You guys, I am so dehydrated. I need to have some water real quick because 
This day, this day has been long hunting. And this won't open. Oh my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Jesus on my soul. There we go. Mm. Right. Hey, who's next, babe? I have some breaking news. We have the brothers from Sweden. Okay, who is Marcus next. and Martinez. Fantastic. And I'm going to get, go get them now. And that's incredible. And can we do Finland sometime after? That? Of course. Oh, I'll you're, go, 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 go. you're amazing. That is Tom Hendrick, star of stage and screen. If I haven't told you, he was the goalkeeper in Ted Lasso. That is right. Apple TV. Love him so much. He's sort of the concierge, the host of today's press room. So he's bringing over the acts. He's doing social media. He's just incredible. Now, Marcus and Martinez are on their way. I'm just going to quickly go to my social media. And I'm going to... Oh, Sinan has been working it. He, oh, he is tagging on all sorts of things. I love that. Conchita is going up on the social media. We have accepted. Thank you so much. You guys, questions for Marcus and Martinez from Sweden. They are on their way. And Chia ESC, you say we need Finland. Finland will be joining us. Mari Joy asks, when are we getting Nutsa? Nutsa needs to do her sound check and then she can come here. Finn asks if I'm hungover. Honey, I don't drink. I do not drink, so I am definitely not hungover. You know, it's interesting. I was always sort of a teetotaler, but when my father died, I was like, I'm not going to drink anymore. It was almost like honoring the dead. It was very strange. I don't know why I even gave up coffee for a year, but as you can see, I'm back on that. All right. Bambi Thug has not yet appeared. The room is very, very hectic, and so it's a bit of a traffic jam. I can't really see. Sylvester Belt is over here. I would show you, but then my whole setup would fall apart. And Windows 95 is over here. Actually, let me tilt the screen so you can see. Do you see? Well, there's Devin Adarimi. And then over this way, we have Sylvester Belt. I don't know if you can see. Whoops, there he is. And then over here, you've got my ugly mug. All right, there we go. Just so you know, Sylvester, no, I'm sorry, Marcus and Martinez are making their way. The crowd, though, is so thick. Oh, my goodness. All right. Sylvester will come here. Do not worry. He is ready to slay. He is in the game. I am just putting stuff on social media. Yes, hunty, that is Conchitaverse going live. Drink some water. Absolutely curious. I'm going to get that water right now. When will we see Suzanne? You will see Suzanne Adams in Malama. I can confirm that my sister will be in Malama, Sweden. She will be with us interviewing the stars, reacting to videos. We're waiting on press accreditation. She may be in the room or our girl may be on the street. But you know what? Wherever she is, she's going to do her thing and she's going to eat some pizza. Because she believes in carbs and she believes in cheese and she believes in you. Now, I'm just going to do a quick check. Where are Marcus and Martinez? Where are Marcus and Martinez? They are not here yet, but they are coming. Bambi Thug has not yet appeared. There is Simon. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? We're just waiting. Yeah, that was Simon. Simon Falk, who's covering Melody Festival in this year. Can you give us a clue about the sequel to The Lush Lounge? I'm being asked. Yeah, no. But, oh, it's time, you guys. Here come Marcus and Martinez. They are arriving on the live stream. You guys, hello. Let's do one on each side. Here, thank you. Hello. Nice to see you again. Welcome. You? So good. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Now, am I right? Marcus and Martinez. Martinez. Oh, you guys. I am so sorry. Let me push this back so we're all here. Okay. Now. Oh, it was good to sit down. Oh, yeah. you've been all over. Yeah, I've been standing here and there. So, you know. You are also. Do you, do you think they can hear as well with the mic? Oh, yeah, they can hear you. It's going yellow, so let's double check. Can you guys hear Marcus and Martinez? Yeah, can you hear us? Can you hear Marcus? Can you hear as well? Yes or no? I think so. Yeah, you're registering yellow, so I think. Okay. Shall we get a harmony to check? Okay. Uh, no. They're saying yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I am not a singer. Yes, you yes, are. you are. But you guys were on BBC Breakfast, the biggest we were. morning show. How was it? We are famous now. <laughs> you already were. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, was amazing. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah. And of course, as you said, a very big thing for us. So I felt some nerves in the start, but then I was like, you know, they were very nice to us. They so were. that made me more safe sitting there. And it felt very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, it was interesting. They were like, you guys aren't Swedish. 
Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> they haven't done their research, no. Yeah. But it's, uh, a lot of people, when we uh, get interviewed, some people say, oh, I, I just heard you are Norwegian. It's our little secret. It, they, but everyone, can I just say, did you guys know that this guy did the first ever Marcus and Martinez interview in English. Yeah. Y'all were hilarious. We said at the time, their English is better at 15 or 16 than all of the adult Eurovision stars. It was incredible. Uh, it was so it was so much fun. But now, now we got the Scandinavian accent again because we haven't been practicing for a long time. It's only back then you were like Netflix American English and yeah. now it's like Swedish English. But yeah. it's still great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, the point of Melody Festival, or one point, was to relaunch in Sweden, and you've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Does the hype feel bigger? It, it feels crazy right now, so we're super happy with that, but, you know, we want to travel out in Europe, and we're just so excited, you know, to do all of these um, pre-parties. Now we're in London, Madrid was good, but I feel like the weather here was, like, so, so much better. Yeah. It's like... The weather here, I would think, okay, now we're in Madrid, but it's London, so yeah, it's it's all good. I I saw that uh, when you guys did the rating of uh, the Scandinavians, and he put us third. Oh yes, what? Yes, Devin Adarimi, weweblogs.com. We will pull him over here to get a hot take. Let's see. Is it Calvin Martinez? There it is. Devin. I'm put us third. You lost taking it off. We will unite you very shortly. Yeah. Let's watch him. I have a few words. That is hilarious. I, I, I like to be it. Yeah. Now, we have one minute left because you are in demand. No. So I just want we to want ask to you. Oh, uh, you're very kind. Are you still in touch with Medina? Yes, yes we are. Of course. They, right after Melody Festival, I know Sami went on holiday to Dubai. Yes. He had a good time there. And they really deserved that holiday because we know how hard uh, working they are so yeah all the best to Medina this yeah. year yeah and next year and, yeah every other year yeah. and final question for you final question will you change anything for Malma with your stage we, we actually already got our new update on our uh, costumes yeah. so we know that uh, they're gonna be different with a little details you know uh, I'm not gonna say what oh, no, yeah. Deb and Come hunting here. they've got something to say to you he'll get in shot don't yeah. worry <laughs> We we have a question for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. what? <laughs> He's about you to know, drop the tea. You know, the tea. you know, we've met before. Yeah, but yeah, I know. Yeah, but but uh, you, your question is not that. No, no, you you put us third. Yeah, Why? in the Scandinavian ranking. Who said that? It's Me. on tape, honey. It's on tape, honey. Yeah, but who said? But you haven't <laughs> seen the tape. Yes, you yes, haven't seen the yes. Tape. yes. We, we, were, know why. we were so sad. <laughs> uh, don't be sad. It was, yeah. yeah. You, you know why you shouldn't be sad? Your song has just oh, gone sorry. to number one. Oh, and, and that is quite an achievement. Yeah. Thank you. How, an achievement. how can we go up on your list? Yeah. What should we do? I think yeah. you already have. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That list was locked by Ernst and Young, but we are going to get the CEO to shake things up. I'm oh, overriding yeah. it. I am overriding <laughs> it. Oh. You guys, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. So nice you talking are to you incredible. Guys. Thank you so much. I was going to interview you, you, but maybe we shouldn't do it now. Hey, the PR <laughs> manager is right there. Oh, so there. Yeah, yeah, let's sort it, it out. Let's have an okay, okay, okay. We love Marcus and Martinez. Thank oh, you so thank you much. They are the best. Oh, so much is going no, on. That is our PR manager. Oh, yes, there's the PR yeah, manager. But he's going to do the wrong he's thing. Tom, um, Hunty. Hunty. This, I'll this do Belgium, you take Sweden. Yes. Perfect. Okay. We're flipping now. Amazing. Okay. Where are we going? Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Going to so, Tom, I'll do Belgium. Yes. Musti is here. Thank you guys so much. Hey, do Tom. Hey, do It's chaos. Pure chaos. Musti. <laughs> oh, I love these moments. The stars connecting and convening. Look at the love between Sweden and Belgium. That is a Chante you like. Oh, yes, Hunty. Who are they? Yeah. Are they looking at us? Look how gorgeous you are. You? Let's have a seat. Yeah. Let's do this. First time we meet in it, real life. I'm so excited. I'm always watching you, you know. Oh, Musti. Yeah, I know you. I'm watching you all the time. I know you. Yeah, and I'm, I'm talking about you with your colleagues. You know? Oh. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Look at this chest! Oh my god! You know, it's a bit of destroy stuff. It's a, the oh, wow. definition of the song. It's a contrast between destroy 
and glam, you know? Oh, you can I have see. both in the same time. A life is tough, but life can be also really glam. You know? That was beautiful. Yes, that was gorgeous. <laughs> I was worried we needed to go to a doctor, that they were gross. It's not a skin disease. Okay. Yeah, it's not a skin disease. I no, watch no. a lot of animal videos on YouTube, and they often yeah. have conditions. Uh, yeah. But you know, you no, can no. treat it, girl. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. But oh my god, I had one hour sleep. One last, hour? Yeah, we had a cancel flight, oh my god. the show in Barcelona, and then when you have, for me, when I have a show, after I, it's impossible to sleep because of the oh. adrenaline, the energy. So I'm like a zombie or a vampire today. Yeah. You can choose. No, you're alive. You're giving us life. Yeah, so more, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've yeah, got to yeah. ask you, in your song, to me, it's almost like an orgasm and you die. There's this build-up, the four climates. Yeah. 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 You know, it's, it was the idea. It's a bit of reflection of my life when I was really shy when I was a teenager. And then at one point, no, I feel more confident, more free. And I really wanted to feel that in the sound. At one point, you need to... Yeah. You need this kind of explosion. Yeah, it was the idea. So tell us, how does Moosty explode? What's the secret to this explosion um, in life? <laughs> crystals, like, no, it's not... Uh, no, it's, it's just... Uh, I'm a, I'm a party boy, I think, in a good way. I, I'm, I'm, I, I love human beings, I love people, I, I love to enjoy with them, I'm always my friends. I'm, you know, it's it's a way I I'm, I'm feel more confident to be surrounded by uh, by great people. And Eurovision for me is great because I meet amazing new new artists. I love human beings, really, I'm, I'm, I, I, I love it. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm stealing everything from them, I'm inspired by everyone, I'm, I'm watching you also. I'm, no, I'm, it's just I love people. Really. You are a vampire, yeah. taking that yeah, blood, you know, taking it. I am the a vampire this year, yes. <laughs> now I've got to say, you told the beautiful story how you were um, filming Drag Race Belgique and Belgium was like, look, you're going to Eurovision basically. She was like this. Here we go. I am playing the boss of and the pro Belgian broadcast and you are me. I'm beautiful suddenly. <laughs> Do you know Eurovision? Oui. Do you want to de do it next year? Je dois passer, honey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh my that God, it's a big question. I, yeah, early in the morning on the makeup uh, drag race, and I was like, what do you want from me? Of course yeah. I know Eurovision, but I was like, what's going on here? So it took me a mm. few hours to get back on the ground. And of course I say yes, like in the same day. But you know, the thing is, you're so well known, like Drag Race Belgique, a huge show, and you're guiding young people, helping them grow. And this was like I, a moment am, for you. I am the sweet judge in Drag Race. You you're know? the sweet one. Sometimes too sweet. Ah. Huh? I need to be more, no. You know what? No, they will judge me. All yes. the drag. It's the opposite now. <laughs> and I'm a bit of afraid because they can be really, really oh, hard. God. They can be, re you know, it's the drag world. They can be really, yes, definitely. really hard. So, but it's okay, it's the game. I, I'm ready for for it, you know. What did they think of your music video? The drag, mm. Mm, you know, in Brussels, it was well received, I think. And uh, there's already one drag called Montana Super Bitch. Ah. She she. Madame lipsing, Super Bitch. Madame Super Bitch. Uh, <laughs> hello, big up. She lips in on my song. I was crying. It was in a famous bar called the Agenda in Brussels. I was there. It was a surprise. And suddenly I hear my song and I see Montana come in full of glitter. Oh it, uh, I need to show you the video. Oh it my was God. so, I was trying really, it was wow. so weird for me. In your video, you're covered in glitter, body yeah. slick. Was yeah. it slippery? Was it dangerous? No, you know that day I was, I was taking a lot of, I was completely free with my body, with my, it was a dream day for me. It was not dangerous, it's just I, I was like a, a child in a toy uh, <laughs> shop, you know? It was, oh my God, glitter, smoke, I can go on the ground, do whatever I want, be some kind of uh, little, uh, you know, uh, no, I don't say, we, it's a family program, we don't, yeah, yeah. We don't. <laughs> but no, it was, I felt super free that day, so I want to feel the same on the Malmö stage, I will try, and for now on the pre-shows, pre-parties, it's a bit more uh, showcase kind of gig, you know, and sometimes I, I see people telling me, is it the staging? Is it? There's nothing, but of course it's free shows. Mm. It's just like a, a first time to connect with the audience. Malmö is another thing. Mm. Of course I'm working on something else, on a decor, on a setup. Okay. But I want to keep the mystery for now. Will you be covered in glitter and half naked in Malmö? You know, all the way, no glitter is part of my life. There's glitter in my bed, on my dog. On everywhere, so I think there will be some glitter. There will be glitter on you soon. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> now tell me, how are you maintaining your energy? Because Barcelona, Madrid, London, yeah, no, your, your sleep, real life as well. You have commitments outside of this. Yeah. How do you stay strong and focused? Um, 
I think I'm a bit crazy in my head, maybe, and it helped me. Uh, like not to always overthink and things and just live the moment and 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 let be inspired by people they give me the energy and there's also a famous drink uh energy drink i i, I don't remember the name it's you know mm. the one who makes you fly ball room no. <laughs> something like that something like that not a lot not with moderation with uh, okay. not too much of course uh, we don't we don't make uh, any uh Advertising for this? Uh, no, no, never. But sometimes it helps when you have one hour sleep. Oh, bless you! It's really crazy. Now tonight here in London, will you change anything for the British audience? Um, I think I didn't see the stage yet. I have to go for my sound check. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, in fact, I tried different thing between Madrid, Barcelona, and London. I always try different nuance, different things, yeah. because I don't like to do the same thing. So uh, yes, I will try another energy, but still, for me, the important thing with these pre-parties is just to connect face to face, eye to eye with the audience. Mm -hmm. Something simple, me, my body, uh, and, and trying to be really live in the moment. You know, Madrid was a bit weird for me. It was overwhelming the first time, so I was a bit in my head, not living the moment. I'm not really happy to be honest with the performance, and I, I had some struggle with the, the ears. So now I really want to enjoy myself. Not that you ever would, because you are a winner, baby. But if you had to lip sync for your life, what Eurovision song would it be? Eurovision song from this year or any? Oh, as you wish. Uh huh. It's a good question. Maybe I would say the Sylvester song. Sylvester Belt, Lithuania. Yeah. Love it. Incredible. I love the, the yeah the oh. energy. It's really mm. straight in your face, yeah. and it can be super glam and sexy oh. to perform and, and to lip sync on this. Oh yeah. my goodness! Final question for you before your sound check. When you leave the stage tonight in London, what do you want people to remember about Musti? That I got a soul on fire, and it is hot. Oh, I am melting! Yes. <laughs> so good to see you. Enchanté. Let's take this yeah, photo, course. babe. Honestly, you're such royalty. It's such so, a pleasure to see you. Oh, not that close. Dang. So you impressed know. to meet you. Oh, thank yeah. you. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. you're serving. Oh, uh, wishing you so much luck. And I can't wait to see you in Malama. Yes, it will be, I think, with the staging and better, uh, you know, pre-shows, it's a bit of a yeah, chaotic thing. a showcase. You know, that's fine. That's fine. I'm really... Yeah. You leave it all out there, honestly. The org You just keep orgasming <laughs> in these shows. That's the word. On Petit more it's like a graveyard. <laughs> Petit more you know that, yeah. It's exactly... <laughs> I wish I knew that more. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It will come. <laughs> one day. One day, papa. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Vincent. So nice to meet you. They had a Vincent Bayer, yeah? Oh, yeah. I oh, love him so yeah, much. He's, not, he will he's be a beautiful Amsterdam. person. Love him. Oh, I'll be in Amsterdam. Perfect. You'll see I'll him. see him there. He's so professional. Oh, the best. Truly. Oh, I will, I will be happy with him. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, no. What's just happened? Oh, we are still live. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. You almost broke the live stream with your power. Oh, my God. Not with your power. Puissance, honey. <laughs> that was Belgium's Moosty. Hey. Angelina Mango is coming. coming. Social media needs to be on point because the mango is landing. That's right, Angelina Mango is here. Bang ping Viet Nook Swai. That's right, the mango in Vietnamese and English, you name it, girls. Ooh. All right, Sinan. Angelina Mango is entering, and I am so excited. I'm bringing the energy. We won't. Oh, now is she in the room? Is she in the room physically? Okay, we're gonna make sure no one comes because hi, Kevin. Abst after the mango, we are all yours. Ah! Welcome. We are We're, so excited. Is there a delay? I the, the mango is all. The mango is approaching, and we are off. Ooh. Honey, Sarah Bonucci to follow. We are so excited. Angelina Mango is here. Angelina Mango has entered the space. The live stream is losing it because Angelina Mango has arrived. The beautiful Angelina Mango. Please have a seat. You gorgeous creature, Hi, welcome. Hi. Let me move this closer. First question, yeah. how are you? I'm really fine, I'm good, I'm having fun in this crazy world of Eurovision. Last night, someone on Twitter said she can sing, she can dance, and she can sing and dance at the same time. What is your secret? 
Well, I have a, a sister that do all the things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> no, you're good. And what's remarkable is you're doing all of this cumbia, but the voice is like studio quality. Thank you. Really? Are you exercising? Like, what is it? Well, I I take my job uh, uh, very strictly, and uh, I have lots of workouts. I run, and uh, I love the what I, I I love what I do. So, yeah. <laughs> do you eat mango? Uh, yes, but I don't <laughs> love it. I I have to to, <laughs> to be true. Now, before you entered this beautiful circus. Did you have a preconception of Eurovision? Like, how has your thought changed about Eurovision? Mm, a preconception about me at the Eurovision. Let's do that, yeah. Why not? No, I didn't <laughs> have it, absolutely. Uh, I always watch the Eurovision with my mom, uh, and uh, she's a big fan. Uh, but uh, I didn't, um, I've never uh, Im imagined myself uh, on this uh, stage. <laughs> Now, the cumbia is such an international dance. People love the cumbia. Yeah. How are you like the cumbia? Uh, well, I think cum cumbia is uh, an important dance because uh, you can dance also on everything that makes you feel sad. And uh, I, I'm, I'm the cumbia. I think I'm the cumbia. Yeah, you <laughs> yes. are. And you are also the sisterhood because in your music video, women yeah. are braiding your hair. Tell us about this message of women helping each other. Well, I think it's very important. I think that uh, uh, I don't believe in the competition in general, uh, and I'm very proud to be woman in this uh, in this competition because uh, I think women women are very strong. And I I met uh, some uh, artists uh, and some colleagues that uh, I want to learn from. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's Thank beautiful. You. And I must say, we learned from you because at San Remo, when you covered your father's song, it was so emotional, really. Thank you. What was that like for you to be honoring him at San Remo? Well, it was uh, it was very difficult, um, but uh, it was the good thing, the, the right thing, and. Uh, uh, when I was um, uh, on stage and I would start singing, uh, I thought, oh my god, I can do that, I, I can do that. But then I, I went inside of the song and uh, I think I am um, inside also now, <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't reprise. <laughs> it's just incredible. <laughs> And looking toward Eurovision, we know you're going to have dancers now, yes. other people on stage. Yes. What inspired that? Well, um, I'm very, I'm very honored to to share this experience with Magnum, that is a great choreographer, and uh, with the, these uh, dancers, um, their energy and their personality are very important on stage with me. Because uh, I don't, I don't like to be alone on stage. I hate to be alone on stage. Well, you are not alone no. because you have all of the Eurovision fans with you, all of the dancers. But is there danger? Like, could your booty bump against the dancer? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess as a professional, you're very used to working with other dancers. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope to be um, mm, near to them because they are very beautiful and they're professional. Uh, but uh, I want to learn. I want to learn from everything of this experience. And if you win Eurovision... No, it's not possible. Oh, no, it is possible, babe. It is possible. <laughs> the mango is real. People love the mango. What city should host? No, I want... Um, <laughs> I want to answer because uh, I think it's not possible. Uh, I'm sorry. I must say, we believe in you. <laughs> we love you. And there are 1,200 people watching who have questions for you. Hi. It's Wow, this is amazing. And one question people keep asking is what is what are some of your favorite songs of 2024 Eurovision? Ooh, that's very difficult for me. Uh, I really love uh, Norway. I really love uh, Poland. I really love... Uh, mm, Ukraine. Um, 
and Spain. Oh, I, I can learn from everything here and from everyone. I'm too young to have uh, opinions. <laughs> How do you avoid boredom? Well, I don't have a lot of boredom in my life, uh, in this period, uh, but uh, um, I just uh, think that boredom is something good when mm. it comes, because you can concentrate uh, on yourself and uh, on your uh, sensation and uh, it's important just for some time to uh, take up the phone and uh, think about herself and uh, breathe. That is such good advice. Final question for you. Final question. What do you want people to remember about Angelina Mango after Eurovision? Well, I want people to remember about me that uh, I'm a free girl and um, I love music and uh, I just want to be myself on stage without masks, without uh, doing anything else. Um, I want to... I want to be uh, free for every young girl that uh, watch me from home, at home. That's a beautiful message. Peel the mango. <laughs> Remove the layers and keep it real. We love you so much. Grazie mille. Grazie We wish you only luck and love. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get a photo ah! with my girl real quick. <laughs> she is incredible. Your song makes me move. Three, two, one. You're amazing. Thank you. And so is this beautiful creature. Thank you, as always, for all your help. <laughs> oh. Have a nice day. Better with the light. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Angelina. Bye. What an absolute star. Angelina Mango from Italy. Truly a kind woman. The energy. I feel nourished by the mango. The vitamin C. Rosa. Rosalyn is here. Rosalyn is going to join oh us now. Oh my God. This is a moment. Rosalyn. Oh my God. I have so much to say about Rosalyn from Armenia. This could get very emotional. Where is my bag? I have to, I have a gift. Yeah, we will keep it short. I have a gift. Oh my goodness. For the queen. Rosalyn from Armenia. Oh my God, are we live? We are live. 1,300 people. First of all, it is so good to see you. So good to see you too. I missed you. I missed I've, your face. Oh my God, the love I have for you is unreal. You have been in Italy giving massive performances with Alpha. Please tell us, how's it going? Well, the craziest thing happened yesterday. I was in Torino, in Turin. Two years after Eurovision, I sang Snap on the same stage wow. yesterday. It was insane. I cried on my performance. I literally, I went on stage and I was like, I don't usually start my set like that, but I said, I'm in Turin, I'm on the same stage. I just started strumming Snap. Everyone started singing it. And I just cried the whole time. And then um, we sang uh, Snap with Alpha, our Italian version. Beautiful. We sang my new single, Universe. In Italian, the Italian version too. So it was nice. It was and great. universe is incredible. In another universe, I might be able to love you. Yes. But in this universe, girl, I do love you. <laughs> Thank you. And you are in my book, Wild Dances. Woo! I've told you this before, but when my brother died, your song was like the most beautiful thing for me. And it honestly, I was coming home and I played it on loop for like an hour. And so whenever I think of him, I actually think of you, which is the craziest thing. And so I brought you a book and I'm just going to say thank you for the feelings and thank you for the love because you are just the best. Thank you for the feelings. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. It means the world. You are all over the epilogue, girl. A celebration of Rosalind. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I putting that to the side. All right. Now I have your face. Oh now I miss your face. You have such a cute face. Thanks. I love you so much. I eat too much pizza, so it's getting a little chunky. Me too. Me too. You can see. <laughs> you can see the difference. 2022, 2020. Make like a collage and be like, Rosalind got that. But I have to ask you a final question. 
so many young Armenian school children. I see them on your social media. You go to these schools and they're these massive crowds. What's that like for you? Um, it's amazing. We're actually, um, so I moved to LA and there are a bunch of Armenian uh, schools in LA because there's a huge community, Armenian community in LA. So I, uh, we just got this you know, invitation from one school and I, I didn't really know what we're gonna do. I saw, I grabbed my guitar, I sang Snap with them and then it was kind of like a bigger thing than I you know, expected. Um, <laughs> And then after I posted about it, every other school just started inviting me. And that kind of became like a tour, a, a, a small uh, Armenian school tour with a acoustic guitar. But that was really amazing. I mean, the kids are just like kindergarten to like high school, and they're so small and little and cute. That was uh, that was really cool. Oh, very tiring. Can you imagine 500 kids around? She's screaming in your oh, ears. That's a lot. But they're they're <laughs> snapping. They're loving. They're living. Yeah. Rosalind, thank you so much for thank stopping you, by the live stream. Thank you you are amazing, and we can't wait to see you live tonight. Oh, at yes. here I at cannot wait to do that. Oh. Abba, oh, oh, please. Yeah, please. No. She's going to sing oh, your hi. song. Oh, Sarah Bonici from Monta. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Honey, get in the shot. Let's get you in this frame. Okay, we're going to sing. Okay, your song? Just together. Seven, one, two. Where are you? You stand my heart. That was amazing. Yay. They didn't even rehearse. No, impressive. <laughs> we just need to. The whole has been rehearsing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> TikTok has trained us all. <laughs> like TikTok bots, I love it. Um, Thank you. When is TikTok giving you a special deal? I mean, they owe you a lot, girl. Uh, they, you know, do you know this whole drama with Universal? Yeah. They owe a lot of people a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good place to be. No. no. But Snap is always in our heart. One, two. Yeah, you guys are always in my heart. Have the best experience in your vision. It's really wonderful. Just enjoy every second of it. Thank you very much. Beautiful Thanks. advice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you're the best. Let me out of here. No, here. no. It's pure love. <laughs> pure love. When you sing in Italian, I get so emotional. It's beautiful. It works for you. Do you have a question for Rosalind? <sighs> Too many questions, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, I, how like was your experience after Eurovision? Like, what did you learn from it? What I've learned is um, you never know what's gonna happen when it's gonna happen. Um, I was so crushed and broken after Eurovision, I have to say. Um, I mean, it's obvious. But then, like in a month. My life has changed and Snap was all over the world and I get to do what I do now and my favorite thing in the world is like being in the studios writing songs and then touring the songs I've written. Um, so it's, it's, it's actually what I do now every day. So like that's, that's amazing. I mean, and what I've learned is really when you think it's the end, it's not really the end. Death is the only end. And it, it might even not be that, you know, so who knows. But um, life goes on and you never know what opportunities are going to come your way. So never give up. I'm going to be I'm gonna be this like cheesy girl. Ooh. Never give up on your dreams. Uh, <laughs> I'm the last person who thought that would be true. But, you know, my life is the example. So. Honestly, from Armenia to the world, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's from incredible. Armenia with love. Yeah. <laughs> She keeps growing, she keeps glowing. Rosalind! Thank you. Woo, girl! Oh, I can feel so many emotions right now. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope I no, get thank to see you. Yeah, you. I'll be backstage tonight. So hopefully, okay, say yeah. hey to my girl. Oh, my, it's oh, Tamara my. Caprelli in here. Tamara's not here. She's uh, singing her for baby. Ah, pro a good choice. A good choice. Maybe, yeah. No, she should. She should. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, I don't yes. need her here. No, 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 no. Yeah, Just take care of the baby. <laughs> I'm oh, like, listen, you don't, you're not coming to this thing. Right. You're not just staying home. <laughs> Take care of that baby. I love you. Incredible. The baby. Gosh. But um, thank you. And the Armenian diaspora will be here tonight. I've already spoken to a few fans. So yeah, it's gonna be hot. It's Intense. gonna be fantastic. I love, I love doing these shows. But um, and they love you. Honestly, it's funny how it. you're like a get now. Do you know what I mean? Like to have Rosalind at your gig is like a get. Thanks for saying that. No, it's a truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not very hard to get me on the gig because I love performing. So if you want me on your gig. You're going to get birthday party, yeah, wedding yeah. invites. I mean, y'all got to pay. Y'all got to pay for that wedding invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
but um, I have to run away. Uh, thank you, you again. Mm -hmm. so nice thank you again. Thank you so much. Oh, she's so lovely, isn't she? Thank you for being in the book. That's the epilogue, girl. It's all about you. Oh, thank you. Actually, let me get a photo of you guys. This is so beautiful. Three, two, one. Woo! Yes, thank you. That was the incredible Rosalind. Now, Sarah Bonici Hello. from Malta. From Malta. Please tell us, how are you feeling? <laughs> Amazing. I mean, to be here, it's it's so great. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm so good. You know, it's funny. I discovered Loop late because the song dropped when I was ill. And so there was hey. like a slight delay. <laughs> but then I heard it and I saw it. And what you have is a TV performance. Yes. Like, that choreo, is, is it hard to learn? Um, well, it's not easy to learn, obviously. Um, I danced for 18 years, but had stopped dancing for... Whoa, 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 hold up. 18 years? Yeah, but stopped dancing five years before Eurovision. So, around, yeah, five years, I think. So, yeah, um, I had to get back to it. So, it was challenging. But uh, for me, the, cha the most challenging bit is actually, you know, keeping up with the singing and dancing and doing them all together, you know? Not oh, just yeah. There, think, yeah. You know? But it's impressive, I gotta say, because it feels almost like, like a Melody Festival, a number, a Beyonce number, like... Yeah. Wow, thank you. Is it difficult to sing while remembering all the motion? Um, I think it, it, it like comes like second nature, you know what I mean? So I now, it, it comes natural, the singing with the, with the dancing, but to sort of execute it is, is, is quite challenging to make sure you're breathing properly when you while you're dancing and make sure you know you're maintaining your breathing and you know tackling each and every note while doing all that movement that is quite challenging my god you're so bubbly like i was just lost in your energy just now <laughs> crazy how do you keep it going because you've been all over the place in spain you're now here you're going elsewhere what's the trick to maintaining that positive spirit well i think um it's like in my character, <laughs> I'm all over the place, very energetic and bubbly. But I think the trick is just to try be positive. Yeah. And I'm really trying to like embrace this whole experience. This has been my dream. So yeah. how can yeah. I not be, you know, energetic, bubbly? It's, it's insane. It's so great to be here. You know, I'm so grateful. She's bringing the sun from the sunny island sun. of Malta. Girl, I need like you know UV protection. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you also an accountant? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I no longer uh, practice the profession, but I am. Yeah. Are there any misconceptions about accountants? Like, do people misunderstand them? <laughs> well, accountants can sing. Yeah. And <laughs> no, I mean, no. It's a lovely job. I used to love accounting, but uh, music is my passion. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, was it hard to quit and go into music? Was it a leap? Um, it was a leap, obviously. Um, uh, I studied so hard to become well, an accountant as well, but I decided to focus on what really matters to me, on what you know my heart really wants, which is music. I, I mean, no one can like n nothing compares to, to what music gives me, and uh, mm. it was a leap, especially in Malta. I mean. I, like Malta, most of the artists actually have a second job, so it's like yeah. a wide the thing. Yeah. Few actually artists do it full time, and in fact, I'm very grateful that I have, you know, I have the the opportunity, and I do it full time. So it was it was quite a leap, but I'm it's like the best thing I've done in my life. From leap to loop, leap tell loop. us <laughs> what is the core message of loop? And it's a very straightforward message. It's about love, um, about this girl and boy that are so into each other. They basically stuck in this loop and cannot get out of this loop because they're so addicted to each other. Ooh, well, let me tell you, this boy and this girl, we have it on loop as oh, yeah. well. Final question for you, final yeah, question. Yeah. When you leave that stage tonight, what should people remember about Sarah Bonici? Oh, wow, a uh, nice question. Um, um, I want to bring forward like positive energy, good vibes to the stage. I want people to enjoy the performance and see how passionate I am about music and about performing. So I just want people to be good after the performance and appreciate, you know, um, the hard work that goes into the performance. Sarah Bonici, opening semi-final two, performance one. Y'all need to vote for Malta. But before. Before. I have a special gift oh, for you. Oh, there's a gift. I didn't ask. Is it tax deductible? <laughs> I'll tell you about that since I'm an accountant. <laughs> okay. Blindfold. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so kinky. Oh, yeah. my God. Should we wear it? Oh, my God. 
But I see, I see wait, a witch. Wait, 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 wait. I see a witch. <laughs> Slowly, loop oh. has to be in the middle. <laughs> but obviously, you can't see. <laughs> oh no! This is incredible. Thank you. So Are you still here? Yeah. yeah, and we need to do the flip now. <laughs> What's the flip, babe? Oh, oh yeah. There we the go. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that's it. We need to get a photo with the flip. With the blind and girl, yeah. Thank you so much for this gift. I was not expecting that. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to wear it all day. Yeah, so I mean, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> we love you. We wish you so much you. luck and enjoy thank tonight. You. And have you spoken to Devin? Not yet. He would love to speak to you, yeah. I know. Yeah, so. I would love to speak thank to you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye, so bye guys. Thank that is Malta, you. Sarah Benici. And we, oh, we have a witch landing. A beautiful witch. A beautiful, beautiful. Hello. Oh, it's Raven. People have been asking for you. People well, have I been have asking. Been, I, I couldn't wait to finally meet you. Oh, in it's so I, I have to. I have to. Oh, oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Dude. Wow. You've made it to Eurovision. Aww. And, you know, people wanted this for you for so long. What's it like to be living it finally? Uh, it, I don't think anyone can really prepare you for how it looks. Everyone was like, the, you're n never, it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, which I, which I always obviously knew, but this is, uh, it's euphoric, it's uh, exhausting, but it's, I'm, I'm very good. Uh, and you're doing it so well. The audience in Madrid, for instance, there was so much love for you. What was that like to be on that stage? Oh, it was amazing. And to hear people that don't speak my language sing Veronica, that is... Because yeah. Slovenia is not easy for us. <laughs> yeah, obviously, only two million people speak it, so obviously it's hard. You're like an ambassador now. I am. I am. And also, I had the help of uh, Boyan with me there. He was. Uh, it was great to have this first experience of uh, just interacting with the Eurovision crowd. With me. And a lot of people in the comments are asking, how will the staging change for Malama? Um, the staging is heavily inspired by what we did in the video. I want to keep that same essence, the nakedness, but still make it legal and not, you know, for Eurovision. Uh, so I'm gonna have my five dancers with me that are, that are also in the video. Oh, fantastic. And are they, they're all Slovenian? No, they're oh. not. Actually, oh. I have two Italians. One, uh, one is from Belgium, one's from... One dancer is from Japan and one is Slovenian. Oh, well, how did you find your dancers? Um, they're from our uh, national ballet opera. Incredible. Yeah. The best of the best. Yeah. yeah. The Slovenian oh, army. Oh, name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, heard, I heard the, oh, gosh. Heard the Slovenian name. Yes, <laughs> Devin loves to talk about this navy. It's um, a little... In any case, the video is so artistic, you know? It's got a real message. Could you break it down for people? Yeah. I think the main message of uh, Veronica is mostly that she was not a witch. She was a woman who was accused of something that she was not. And I think that her story is still very relevant today just because a lot of people, I, me, myself, I can be judged or perceived in a different way just because of the way I look. Um, and I, and that, that's why I think that Veronica can be kind of a ambassador for everyone that feels out of place. Can we break that down? You said how you look. What do people assume? I think that people assume that I'm very... I mean, I feel like I'm a gentle flower yeah. inside, but on the outside, because of my tattoos and my claws, people maybe think that I'm... Uh, more intimidating than I actually am. Well, I can tell y'all, she is not intimidating. No. She's a gorgeous flower, a Ramonda, if you will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Honestly, you. we are just so touched that A, you've made it. All these people, Veronica, 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 Raven. Do you have a final message for all of your fans who are watching? Well, Yasem Tisi Veronica. We are all Veronicas and I'm sure that everyone can find a small piece of Veronica's story that is related to that is relatable to themselves as well. Uh, Slovenia, Raven, semi-final one. What position? Nine. Nine. Y'all need to vote. <laughs> you, have to, you can't be lazy. And we hope and expect to see you in the final. Thank so you good so to much. see you. You're in, see let's you just take too. a photo while you're there, you know? <laughs> can't waste the ring light when you've got it, you know? Three, two, one.
Thank you so much. Thanks. Honestly, it's yeah. to meet you, really. Well, it's to meet you, too. Yeah, because for years we've been cheering for you, and it's just, this is your Thank moment. You. Thank you. I still remember in 2017 when you did, like, a reaction to Zajari. Oh, it was a good one. I was so happy. You're really, so, it yeah. made me so happy. Her time is now. <laughs> Veronica, Raven, Slovenia. Thank you, guys. Slovenia is one of these countries at Eurovision that I'm obsessed with. Oh, Ruzza Buzzalance! Get in here, girl! There is enough room for both of us. Hey. I am literally <laughs> dying right now. <laughs> what? Can I just... <laughs> That's the smell of Nutsa Buzzalazzi. <laughs> Let's get this ring light okay. on point because we need. you're an American oh, idol. Oh, it looks good. Miami is here. Atlanta is here. And now we can slay. Oh, my God. Woo! What? what? <laughs> Oh so my I'm happy Lord. to finally meet you. I'm so happy. Right? I was so jealous. Rezo Memsikashvili, he met you. Devin Adarimi, he yeah. met you. Yeah. And now William Lee Adams has finally met you. Nutsa Budzaladze, tell me, how are you like a firefighter? Well, I'm feeling amazing right now because first of all, I'm in London. And second of all, I've been dreaming to be at this party for a long time. Actually. And Georgia has never been in London pre party. So I'm really happy and excited that we made it. We're here, and I cannot wait until I'm going to be performing tonight for Forever Vision <laughs> fans in London. It's really great. And I, you know, I, I receive a lot of love also from the fans, and it, it really keeps me going and it gives me a lot of energy. Oh, I feel it. You just woke me up. I've been here for two hours and 42 <laughs> minutes, according to that timer. Oh, my God. Yeah, my oh girl. God. The energy Aren't is bad. Aren't you hungry? I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> starving. I have to pee. I but I need to put out the fire. Yeah, put out the fire. But the thing is that sometimes, sometimes, depending on the mood, sometimes I like to put the fire. Oh, she likes to but, start the fire. But, yes, yeah, start the fire. But okay. for Ever Vision, we decided that we have to. It's the time to put out the fire. Yeah. You know. I love this moment in the music video. You're on the floor like like a dog, and like you're popping the back, girl. Like a dog? Yeah, like a like dog. the yoga position, like the yoga position. Like a dog. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, I'm obsessed with dogs. The dog house. Oh, is my I'm favorite obsessed show. as well. Yeah, yeah I girl, have they're so cute. Yeah, they're. But the choreography. Yeah. Is it easy for you? Is it like just? No, it's not easy at all. It, it may look easy. I don't know how it you looks. You make it look easy. Really, mm. but it's really hard because. Uh, you can ask my choreographer Luigi, who is from Milano. He's amazing choreographer, and uh, and Miguel as well. You can ask them. The, uh, my first time of rehearsals, it was a disaster. It was a disaster because the first time when they explained to me, oh, you gotta do like this, you gotta do like this. Like it was really hard for me. But as the rehearsals went on, it became easy for me. So, so I'm I cannot wait until we're gonna do this in life. <laughs> you found the fire. What is the message of this song? What are the fires, and why do they need to be put out? Okay. So the message, I want Georgia, I wanted Georgia to have a very strong message for this year because of the situations that we see now in the world, right? Um, you know, the, the hate that is going on, the, you know, the wars, the fire, killing each other, all this, you know, negative and bad things. Also, I was feeling, I, I experienced as well, as a human, you know, a lot of uh, judgmental comments about me, you know, a lot of hate, a lot of negativity. So, I was, since I was a kid, I was, you know, kind of fighting with this, with this negativity, with love also. Always, always. So that's why I'm saying in the song that we have to put out the fire. So fire represents all this negativity that is going on right now in the world. And I'm trying to save this love. And I'm trying. And I am actually putting out the fire with love. So this is the, the, the message. You know, because when I was thinking, you know, oh, um, I like to put, uh, you know, uh, put the fire. You know, everybody, everyone can, can do that. But, but you have to be a very strong person to fight with hate, with kindness and love, you know? So I think it represents a very strong person. Ooh, girl, you should have been in the Miss Universe pageant because you can answer a question. <laughs> you can answer a question. And this is something about Georgians that I love. Georgians put it out there. Big personality, creativity. What? Where does this come from? Do you know what I'm talking about? I know, I know. Where does that come from? Is it in the water, the food, the... Like, 
Yeah, we have amazing water, we have amazing food, but most importantly, I'm to live in Georgia, you know, it's it's the same to live in an environment which is, you know, full of like family kind of vibe, like like very loving environment, which I love very much, you know, and uh, also what I love about Georgia is, you know, the 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 food also and and everything that we eat and everywhere we go we Hachapuri. Have, Hachapuri. Kalinki. Yeah. Hinka. Yeah, Hinka. Hinka. And, Hinka. And we have we really have amazing places in Georgia. It's a very small country but it's full of big personalities. Incredible. Yeah. Full of talented people. Yes. Really talented yes. people. And it's for me Georgia represents is like like for me I feel uh, always big love from Georgians so for me it represents love you know and yeah. like kindness and I feel always very warm in my country always very loved and that's why I love Georgia so much Wow you're just incredible honestly ask the woman one question to get 55 answers yeah this you know, is what I need in my life you know that's my problem you know when I start talking I never stop so you should stop me no I will never stop you don't stop won't stop American Idol American Idol, please tell us, what was it like when those judges lost it for you? Um, it was a moment, uh, for that moment I've been dreaming about since I was a very little girl. I was like eight years old when I started dreaming about it. So imagine your dreams coming to reality and all the flashbacks that you had when people said no, 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 you know, when people didn't believe in you, you know, it all starts making sense. You know, with that moment, it builds your personality as well, and it gives you even more motivation. Oh, I am feeling so inspired. Katy Perry, Katy Perry, she said parrot back, didn't she? She said maybe try it again without the theater. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that like when she said that? Because I was offended. I was offended for you. I was, you know, I, I was not that offended because, you know, she's a judge for a reason, right? She has to tell you, you are going to the show because you want to get better and you want to become a better artist, right? So I was there for that reason as well. So, I, I, of course, it's hurtful a little bit, you know, because you want them to like you so much. But in order to grow, it's very necessary. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you have grown. You have grown so much. And we are just, I'm so emotional meeting you. Because you were riding horses in 2017. What was it? Ride white horses? <laughs> but our girl was on the horse. But you know what? Now you are the horse at the front of the race. You're the jockey on the thing. That's so funny. I love it. From my Tbilisi to Miami via a horse. Now you're putting out the fires. This really Oh, funny. Lord. I just love you so much. I'm going to take you. a photo before you go. Let's go. And then I've got one more question for you. Yeah. Three, two, ooh, let's push that back. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I love that picture. Oh, oh I'm sending it to you, yeah, babe. Same. I'll airbrush it first, though, because my junk is, ooh. Yeah, um, well, so you oh, got to yes. put a face up. <laughs> i got to put out the fire. Yeah. Final question. Yes. After you perform tonight at the London Eurovision party, yes. what do you want people to remember about Nutsa Budzaladzi? I want them to remember um, my energy and my personality. That's what I want them to feel me as a person uh, and feel what I want to say. Mm. And you know, if they, if I'm gonna be, if I'm going to be able to do that, then it means that I had a very successful uh, performance. You know, when when people remember how you made them feel, that's the, the the biggest success that artists can do. You know, so that's the thing I want them to remember. Can I tell you something? Yes. I feel amazing. So really? thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Nutsa from Georgia. Y'all got a vote for Georgia okay you don't expect everybody else to do it you have to do it pick up the phone and yeah. vote yes please make Georgia qualify <laughs> much love much bye love to you. thank you so much thank you she thank is you. more delicious than Hachapuri hot out the uh -huh. oven our girl is <laughs> serving that food living la vida loca Miami you have a safe flight baby thank you. all right that was Georgia, and we moved to Ireland, the Emerald Isle. <gasps> they are here with a French kiss. Woo! Oh my lord. <laughs> Giving us that Tim Burton realness. Yes. Oh, yes, that is a sleigh. What are you chewing on? Is that blood? It's my lipstick. <laughs> this is method acting, method performing. <laughs> Hi.
<laughs> Hi. I have a gift for you. Ooh. She br they bring a gift for me. First, I'm a condom. Oh, a French kiss. Ooh. Oh my goodness, they are mounting a chair. And they are. <laughs> I'm trying to show you my outfit. <laughs> they look incredible. Thank you, Bambi okay, Thug. I have something because my costume is promoting safe sex. So oh my I'll have gosh. For you. Thank you so much. Be safe, have fun, but mostly be safe. That is so kind. Yeah. They are an activist, they are a thinker, they are a performer, <laughs> they are Bambi Thug. First question. Yeah. Today, are you feeling more Bambi or more thug? Um, today I'm feeling... I am um, backwards, Bambi. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They're an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a mystery. The name, where does it come from? Um, it comes from me. It comes from different facets of me. <laughs> um, it's juxtaposition, so, you know, sweet and then fierce. But um, I'm generally quite sweet. It's just my lyrics. Sometimes they're nasty. <laughs> so be careful, because I will write about you nasty things. <laughs> the, ish the warning has been issued. Now, in Ireland's national selection, Bambi Thug was perhaps an outsider, but then they Always. slayed it to the top. Everywhere I'm an outsider, mm. until I'm your favorite person. Mm. Tell us about that journey. What's it been like? Um, yeah, it's been really good. I mean, like I didn't have any fans in Ireland really before this. Really? So I was like, I'm going to enter this and see if I can get some Irish fans. And then I won it and I was like, slay. And then my country loved me. Um, but my, yeah, my career has mostly been in the UK. I um, I played Down on Festival last year and I'm opening the main stage of it this year, so yeah, I do well over here. So yeah, it's in London. <laughs> I've got to say, what impressed me the most on your entire journey was you were on a talk show in Ireland, it was late at night, and you sort of addressed how some people said, that that's sadistic, that's dark, that's scary. Yeah. You had the most beautiful message. Could you share it with me? I mean, if I uh, if I awaken something in you that makes you nasty, then I send you love. Because I'm just free. I'm just playing. I'm just haven't lost the art of play. You know, it's important. I feel maybe that's why I don't look my age because I still play. Um, no, I send everybody love. Like obviously, like I'm a human. You know, I'm just a person. I'm a performer. I'm an actor. Um, uh, I'm not a Satanist. I do practice witchcraft, but it's kind. And I think, you know, I get a lot of hate. I do, I get a lot of hate from people. But you know what, I think no one who ever did anything impactful didn't, who I look up to. So, it's good. I call me a Satanist. <laughs> this hate, what does that stem from, you think? I think it stems from... Um, transphobia and homophobia and uh, being anti-queer and I think uh, scared of you know more alt culture and you know gothic um, gothic uh, fashion and I think people are just jealous that I'm uh, just always slaying myths and I don't really care <laughs> I don't really care what they think you know like I, I know my worth I know who I am I know I'm a good person I know that everything comes from a good place and I don't have to I'm never gonna be you're not gonna be liked by everyone ever do you know what I mean so you know hate me all you want unless you're fucking talking about me yeah and you know what they will put a hex on your ex that music video is fantastic <laughs> Thank and you. If I have it correct, y'all really like did it yourself. This was born of you. Yeah, so the concept um, me and my sister came up with, we made it a bit more child friendly because originally it was really dark. Um, Imagine that. <laughs> um, and we filmed it nine hours with um, Camp Productions, a queer based um, production company. And most of the team was non binary as well on my side, which was gorgeous, you know, and um, it was incredible. It was an incredible day. And yeah, I just love wearing costumes, I love dressing up, I love being different characters. Um, I just really want to act, so I always force it into my music videos. There are 1400 comments or people here watching, and the question that keeps coming up again and again is Will Bambi Thug change their staging in Malama and how? From RT. No, it's going to be exactly the same. Exactly the same. No, it's different. It's um, what I can say is it's more mature and it is romantic mm. and magic. 
Where are your inspirations? Do you watch Tim Burton movies? I do, do watch you? Tim Burton movies. Um, witchcraft is an inspiration. Um, comics are old Batman. Like everything. Um, all different forms of music. Just life. Um, strange characters. Little creatures. Uh, sci-fi. Um vampires I don't know everything I just love a theater I'm a theater I'm trained in theater I used to be a ballerina and then I did musical theater over here in university so I'm a theater kid in all aspects of the world <laughs> and they're singing Doomsday Blue incredible song what is the message you have for people with Doomsday Blue never let anyone make you feel like you're less than you are in a relationship, in the world, from your own negative self-talk. That's what Dim Dim Blue is about. You know, every every pocket, every part of that song addresses another thing. The verse is our relationship. The chorus is about being a queer person excluded in the world. The middle eight is my negative self-talk, trying to change it. You know, it's multifaceted, which I think a lot of, if you, you know, you take your own interpretation of lyrics as well, like, as it means to me, might be different for you guys. And I think, yeah, just never... Just never, um, never, never dim your own light for, for somebody else and never change because they think you're weird or quirky. Because you know what? You're fucking cool. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I should pay you for that talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. They are Bambi Thug from Ireland, semi final one, first half. Y'all need to vote. Yeah, vote for me. Absolutely. You're just incredible. Look at like a photo. Those teeth are gorgeous. <laughs> I need the name of your dentist, girl. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> Woo! You know, actually, I just made a mistake. I said, girl, I'm so sorry. You know, in gay speak, it's like, hey, girl. You know what? I'm so sorry. It's fine when, it, when it's in, in that realm. Ah, it's okay. It's like an expression. And also, of, I think if you do slip it and correct yourself, then I don't, I don't mind. You know, it's on habit. It's on learning as well. They are a teacher. They are a spirit. And they are Bambi Thug. Thank, Thank you so you much. Again. Thank you again. It was such a pleasure. Thank really. you. True pleasure. Mm, can't get enough of these kisses. See you later. Thank you. I'll give this to my husband. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I know what he'll say. <laughs> you guys, that was Ireland's Bambi Thug. Baby lasagna has entered the building. And so we will be having a bit of lasagna in a minute. And I'm saying the word lasagna because the lasagna has arrived. Hey, baby lasagna. Nice to meet you. Oh nice my to meet you God. So Finally. Nice. Let's get you in that frame. Thank you. I've got something for you. Really? Yeah, but I'm going to pass it under the table. So oh. it's no pressure. Oh, that's incredible. It's sold out. I'm upset. You are, I have a gift for you, actually. I, I, I've, I've saved it before. Oh, Anything you are amazing. Happened. Can I show the people? Yeah, of course. Of Baby course. lasagna has given us sold out cat merchandise. Yeah, I said I, when they came, I was like, okay, we're going to meet William. We're going to say one for him. Oh, you are the best. Honestly, this you were there so from the start. You know, you were like when everything blew up, you were like, hey, Marco, the song is great. Can we do an interview? And I'm never going to forget it. Your first message. I have it screenshot. On my oh, computer. that's incredible. Yeah. And you replied. Yeah, you replied. Of course, which I means did. a lot to us. So oh, okay. we thank, thank you. you. Thank but you so I have my book for you. All right. Sadly, we had to cancel our event because of some scheduling yeah, we issues. Yeah, we were so disappointed. We when were that very happened. disappointed. Yeah. Oh, I'm so. But hey, I'm gonna sign this afterwards. Yeah, Actually, do, let me do it now. Do, please, please. I'm gonna say thanks for all the carbs because <laughs> this is a lasagna that we love. Thank you for the carbs, love, William Lee Adams. Oh, thank I'm you gonna so say much. Marco. You are the best. Thank you so much. No, thank, thank you, you so truly. Much. Let's take a photo real quick. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. I was born in America. In any case, <laughs> quick question for you. Yeah. So much hype. Baby lasagna, potential winner. Baby lasagna. Everyone came to see baby lasagna. This room, baby lasagna. How are you coping with all of this pressure? Well, to be honest with you, I, I don't notice it. Like you said, like everyone in this room, baby lasagna came here, baby. I was like, no, oh, there. I guess they're cheering for everybody the way they're cheering for me. So I don't feel like special or anything like that. But uh, if you say it, it sounds nice. I'm proud to to do it, and yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, he's being very humble. The fact is, you've got the betting odds, you've got the crowds, but you remain so humble. Now, is this a reflection of where you're from? 
or is it something else? Is it media training? Uh, no, no, there, <laughs> there was no media training, but I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not doing it, uh, I'm doing it for myself in a sense that I can get, uh, fame can hit me in the head really easily. So I'm trying to stay humble, like uh, practicing it daily. So that's a mission for me, some kind of, it's not necessarily something that comes just like that for me so I have to practice it you know and try to stay humble and grateful for every little thing that comes my way so oh yeah. that's lovely and one thing that's come your way is you're more confident on stage yeah of course. comparing Dora to Madrid and Barcelona or Madrid and London now, yeah do you feel that difference of course I was talking about it today with the guys in a sense that before Dora like week before my performance at Dora I was shaking on a from fear and now it's just like well it's happening I'm gonna be scared just before I hit the stage but it's not the whole day is ruined it's just a few hours before so yeah and I feel more comfortable on the stage and now I know that people recognize my song so it's easier when people love your song it's yeah. really easy to perform when they're singing with you you know what I mean there's also this people yeah, know the moves <laughs> tell us what is that is that how you hail a bus in Croatia <laughs> No, I just wanted something easy in a sense that uh, I'm not really a dancer. Uh, so when <laughs> they did the choreography, we were like, okay, we need something simple because Marco is gonna just drift off and do his own thing. Ah, uh, okay. Because most of the things I do, it's improvised. Really? The things that are not improvised is this. Oh. And at the end, when I hit the like when I do this but everything else is just me feeling it in the moment oh fantastic because I must say I like that it's messy in a good way you're yeah, yeah. Up. you're yeah. just moving I also appreciate it yeah I, I, I think that choreography for me would do the opposite thing in a sense that I would get lost and it, it would feel and look insecure so now there are a lot of Croatians in the chat who've been waiting for you all day saying Marco 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 and someone earlier had asked and I don't see it they wanted to know what the reception was like in your hometown Ooh. after winning Croatia's national final. Yeah, uh, so they got me there and I was like, okay, they're gonna be... I really thought this, uh, that it's gonna be like 50, 60 people and at the end of it was like more thousand people. Like the whole square was just filled with children and with their parents and with everybody and it was surreal experience, you know. Uh, we come from a really small place and we know Everybody knows each other in a sense, at least you know of them, you know what I mean? And seeing them like proud and cheering, it just makes me know. And the Croatian media have really gotten behind you. Index.hr, you know, RTL News, I see you constantly just all over the place. Yeah. Did you imagine that when you wrote this song? No, never. I uh, When I sent Dora out, it was more like, you know, when you're... Uh, trying to find a job so you send a CV there, 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 there and you expect maybe to get one response. It was the same for me with Dora. I sent it and I forgot about it. I was like, it's never gonna. Uh, and then it came as a replacement. I was like, what? It was a replacement. So it was really exciting. And then I didn't expect to get called, you know, like Jaja gave up and I didn't expect to win. It's. I really thought that my song is not gonna find its audience in Croatia and I believed in it I thought it was good but I didn't think it was gonna find its audience in Croatia have you spoken to Zsa yeah I did first of all Vala Zsa Vala girl <laughs> thank Grazie. you so much what did y'all talk about well, well we were talking about she was happy about what uh, what is coming my way in the sense that uh, I'm really happy for you and stuff like that so we mostly talked about the industry later on and she explained it to me like uh, be mindful of what you're doing who are you dealing with and stuff like that but it's a it was respectful and yeah it, she's a nice person I think oh and, that's good to hear yeah. she's your lucky charm honestly. yeah I think so <laughs> I should wear a Jaja's ja yeah. picture in my pocket yeah I hope Jaja has your cat merchandise yeah I hope to I didn't know which, which you will be reprinting so y'all can buy it later yeah support the lasagna more layers than that lasagna with more coin yeah <laughs> but um, tonight here in London what will you change? Will it be more freestyle, let's see what happens? Or have you planned something special? Yeah, I planned, I'm trying to do something with my vocals a little bit differently, just to try it out and see how people will react. I don't know if it, if people are even gonna notice it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a twist on my outfit. So it's something really exciting for me. And But the performance, 
when it comes to the choreography, I think it's going to be just however I feel the energy coming from audience. Okay, so you feed them lasagna, they feed you energy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. It's a, it's a like communication between. Yes. Yeah. Because in Madrid they were really, really loud and really, really crazy. So I went, oh, you want, you want more of this? I'm gonna give you more. And there were, and it was like a competition between us. They were screaming more, and I was dancing more. And I'm, I don't know how the London. It's gonna react to my song. I don't know how people are. I don't know what's the. I promise you, it's not going to be. Oh, well done, well done. It's none of that. It's gonna be raw. Oh, okay. Yeah, then yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, look. Final question for you, because this whole room is waiting for you. What do you want people to remember about you after Eurovision is done? Oh, that's a great question. I haven't thought about it. That I gave my best. I gave it all I could and the best I knew how in the moment. So, yeah. You are so pure. This is an organic lasagna. There are no preservatives, honestly. Yeah. I, that's what I like, because sometimes artists are a bit media trained and it's like, there's a canned answer, but you keep it real. Uh -huh. You know, you got all the fat, the sugar, the salt, it's yeah. all there. Yeah, I, I, I try to make it that way because I don't want to be in Croatia, we say one of them in a sense that, ah, you know, like yeah. the part, but uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just the way I want to represent myself and I want to show every flaw that I have and every, mm. you know, every corner, every layer of lasagna, <laughs> as you said it. So, yeah. That lasagna is in the oven and we are ready to eat. The jokes never stop with baby lasagna. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bala, bala, bala. Nice to meet you, even off the nice cameras. To nice to meet yeah. you so much. Nice and to see you. And you know, I'll be in Amsterdam, so we'll do a proper interview. Oh, okay. This is beautiful. Okay. The way you speak, the way you emote. Thank you. I, I hope that is. we'll do a proper interview, like the one we did with. No, I'm not saying the <laughs> improper. I just know you're nasty with your Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, I also know about Pinterest. Are you on Pinterest? No, I don't know what that is. See? And he's a star. So, Devin, it's done. Yeah, it he was is talking is about done. Pinterest, but I didn't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's either. kind of like you get inspiration for, like, you know, home oh. decor or oh. baking or, okay. or, your case, oh. Swiss Navy lubricant. You know, there are many different <laughs> ways to approach it. But, um, yeah, okay. uh, enjoy tonight and hopefully see you later, but if not, in Amsterdam for yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much, Philip. Have Crezzo a nice day. Is Crejo here, by the way? What? Crejo. Yeah, here it is. Oh, <laughs> Vala, so thank much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Baby lasagna is the best. You guys, I am full and I am nourished. After that conversation with baby lasagna, I'm gonna give Crejo a hug later. I hope he hears me, Crejo. Ooh, girls, y'all. We have been here for three hours and eight minutes. That is three hours and eight minutes and I have not eaten. But after being with baby lasagna, I do feel nourished. So let's keep it real. What questions do you have? Is Teodora in the show? I think they had visa issues, to be honest. The Finnish guys are in the, well, they were in the room, but I think they may have left. There were sound checks happening. Um, I think the press room is meant to close about now, although it hasn't. Um, and there are people, those WhatsApp messages are inappropriate, inappropriate. Who, ah, okay. Bambi Thug was so lovely. They were so lovely. I just loved getting to know them. I, oh wait, I did not take a, did I get a photo with baby lasagna? Wait, I did not do a photo. I'm gonna need to get that photo. Actually, baby lasagna, I'm so sorry. I didn't get a photo. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's use this ring light. <laughs> Sinan Hunty, will you take it with the my love? Thank you so much. Blago Daria. Let's make sure the ring light is giving. Thank you so much. Sorry for that. Mala Slay, the love continues. Sinan, honey. I really would love Sinan to join me on the live stream because it's been such a long day. Honey, please sit. I literally Please I had zero hydration. I feel big. Have some water. Right you now. need some water. There's water here. Really? Also, why, I, I have to. Why go to, didn't you tell me? I'm going like, to Slamen's hotel to interview him for six. Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? Let's do this. I'll do interview so hey everybody, at hotel. We just got this beautiful t shirt. Oh my god, isn't that good? Oh, it's gorgeous. We isn't it cats? gorgeous? Ah! Oh, meow, 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 meow. 
Meow, please meow back. Please. Where's your cats? My cat. I oh. need Barnaby. I need so my. My cats like, don't travel. They stay at I home. Need them in my and life. this mozzarella. And another dish oh, of lato. My the oh, Luke Black Serbia. is entering. The king of Luke Black is here. The king of, the king of Slay here. has arrived. Oh, Luke hello, everybody. Black. My oh, my oh, my goodness. Gosh. Let's get this light. There we yeah. go. Oh, looking I good. Look okay now. They all, oh, you look amazing. You love oh, me. Oh, nice I, I hugged everybody. But I have you've been busy at work. I'm so sorry. This camera has to be fed. Wait, I know. Allow accessory to connect. Oh, oh that's Oh, that's you. I'll allow, say don't please. allow. Don't oh, allow. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, no, I love it. Who's connecting? Somebody's oh. connecting. Can we start with one thing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've done it. Please tell us what music is on the horizon. And I'm going to eat this sandwich Where's while you talk. Where's the album? Yeah, uh, Where's the album? We won the album. We well, won the album. I, I actually am really excited. So today I came here for PRS for Music to be the news reporter. Yeah. So I tried to dress as the news reporter. So How I is your new job? Yeah, is it it's good? my new job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funding the album. Yeah. But to be honest, I um, I have an album. The, the album will be out on the 24th of May. So I already announced. Oh, yeah, you were busy. After your visa. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I have Ooh, to wait. Nobody's you know. gonna care. About <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but um, it's a really good piece of work. I was just talking about it. Like the uh, the Eurovision experience and the fans have single-handedly. Um, inspired it so much that like after my first performance in London in Amazing Grace when I saw them like singing my old material as well I became a performer a bit, mm. a yeah. bit too late I, I should have become one for Eurovision no, you were a performer <laughs> at Eurovision but yeah, that, was a I, that changed my whole world and I made an album in one month Wow! so they really like I, I don't know how to express myself but they've penetrated me uh, with inspiration and like ideas long may it last honey you get that inspiration penetration now you gave yes. a very emotional interview to Wee Wee Blogs for our podcast with my dear friend Freddie. Yes. We loved that conversation that so much. You, there are a lot of layers to you. And you talked about struggles from the past, but I want to know, what is your central challenge now? Oh, that's a good question, actually. It's, it's like something, when you do music, you kind of do like therapy as well for yourself. I mean, you're making it for yourself. Um, in a way, but I think like I've struggled with you know mental health and alienation mm. and loneliness, and that's it's and trying to find paradise, which mm. is like the, uh, the the overarching theme of the album. Uh, right now, my thought process and the struggles would be how to <laughs> become a professional musician and market my album and do all of that that I didn't really do that oh, much. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, yeah, it's becoming, it's like now that the album is like vomited out, like I, I can just like be more of a business person. And I'm oh, starting yeah. with being um, starting from today. the weather girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Get raining in lines. London. It's lines. not raining in London, I have to Thank say. God. It's a really beautiful day. Yeah. Thank God, because it's been nasty. But it's windy, so much wind. Oh yeah, you can see by my hair. <laughs> Actually... Oh my God, Freddie just messaged me. Oh, Freddie Tennyson, Freddy. girl, you're on the live stream. Oh, Leak his phone number. He's oh, famous. and there's Travis. <laughs> Love Luke's Everybody's manager. Here. Incredible. Everybody's it's here. just, it's always a reunion with you. Yeah. Just good feelings. But you know, this challenge, I do hope that you're still finding time for yourself. Like, I know you have to solve the problems and challenges. I mean, they gave you an album, so hey, there's a, a silver lining. Yeah. But like, do you, are, you seem very centered, is what I'm trying to say. You seem calm. I'm on better meds. <laughs> <laughs> no but, shame. <laughs> but um, I think like, um, you know, the um, I was in the, in the very big lack of love before mm. Eurovision. Mm. So, and, and you feel like, I always said, like in my first interview with, with Sinan after I won, I said, I'm like Tinkerbell, you gotta like clap for me to stay alive. Um, and, and that's what's happened. And I got loads of claps and loads of um, support and love and humor. My fans have the best sense of humor. Mm. They created this amazing community. Um, you know, we're traveling. I'm going on tour in June, like Amazing. to a couple of European cities, as long as Finland. Oh gosh! Hopefully, I'll get 
Kaya there, drag him there. I'll uh, I'll go to I'll go to Austria. I'm gonna be joined by Theo on that one. I'm gonna go to Poland because I missed the pre-party last year. I'm going to Norway on the pre-party. So like all of that and around UK and and it's just really good. And I'm working on the new show because I've done this one like four or five times. I think it's time for a change. Why not make it more complicated? You know what? From complication can come simplicity and success. You are on a journey, and we are cheering you on. Thank you. Let's see what questions the people have for you. And y'all, just so you know, the live stream will be ending shortly. So this is your final chance to get some questions in for the magnificent Luke Black. Oh, uh, this <laughs> Oh, this is a question. His album was vomited out. Can anything be vomited in? What does that even mean? Um. I, I guess, guess, what was the food that you vomited, like, where did the food come from that you vomited out? I, I guess, like, I vomited out the inspiration that, that I vomited, I don't know, this, this is very, like, this is very, like, tier 8 horror film talk. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. let's, 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 let's say, um, the inspiration and energy in the audience is, like, what comes inside me. Oh, woo. oh, oh, the, the horror movie has become a blue movie, if you know what I'm saying. And we move on. People always ask this, and you've been asked this millions of times, so we'll ask one final time. Do you see a Eurovision return in the future? Um, I've learned how to say, are you, the, you weren't eating your sandwich, we were talking too much. Oh, oh really? Sorry. No, no, no. It is a pleasure to be with you and to close the live stream with you. Uh, like, what an honor to close with Luke Black. Thank you so much. Um, what, what was the question? Girl, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> wait, the sandwich? Inspir oh, yeah, going back to your oh, right, yeah. That's right. Um, so basically, um, I want to, I learned how to say never say never in mm. a way like I don't want to say never. But I feel like there's a, a moment for myself as an artist that like you get to certain mountains and you climb them and then you either stay on the mountain or slide down like me. <laughs> but, but I feel like that's the mountain that I've been on and I've, I've breathed in that air. The only thing that I would love to do is like somehow be in the Eurovision family without that stress of the performance. I'm really kind of, I was talking to the artists because uh, my, my questions were more about songwriting and artistry and um, not so much are you excited this that so we had like really deeper conversations about things and I can see how they're feeling and I, I was feeling like that last year so it was very it was really great to hear from them the feedback that I kind of gave them a bit of light yeah I, I guess like some some warmth and I'm really happy that I, I for once could provide some warmth the warmth is real. You are a very kind person. And it is such an honor to close the live stream with Luke Black, Serbia. The new applause for Oh, thank bless you. So you. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank the you. new album dropped has recently dropped. Oh no, it drops yeah. after Eurovision, forgive me. Uh, tw yeah, May 24th. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> 24th of May. We will cover it on weeweblogs.com, so be sure to check it out. Luke, thank you so much. Thank you. Honestly, Vala. Dusha Zlato, keep glowing. Sinan, we're going to close the live stream, honey. Are we? Okay. So let's, well, let's all so get in here. Let's huddle up. One, two, three. Ramba, ba, 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 so much. The concert open. Sorry, the doors to the concert open at 6 p.m. London. The concert starts at 7 p.m. London, and it ends with Ali Alexander at 11:06, and he'll be off oh by 11:15. We'll be uploading performances all night during the interval. So come back to WeWeBlogs.com tonight to see the performances just moments after the stars of Eurovision 2024 have performed. Yes. I'm excited. I'm gonna get drunk, and everybody's gonna be great for me. <laughs> I'll hold your head over the toilet. That's yeah, what I'll friends are for. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. We'll be this will save this live stream so you can rewatch it, and we'll also pull out the individual performance clips tonight. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's been three hours and twenty minutes. Thank you for being here, all twelve hundred of you, for the past three hours and twenty minutes. Nothing but love, and we'll see y'all tonight. Bye. Bye.